SSSSSSSS Gives them a satisfaction they couldn't get any other way.
Hello! Welcome in, everybody! Hi! Birdie, Cupid, Trash, Heartbreaker the Unicorn, Rosie, Frog, Saul! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Saul was a heckin' naughty bean, so we have to do this. Hold on. Wow! Incredibly juicy! <laughs> Four months suckers SSSSSSSS. Saul, so, thank you so heckin' much for the four months. Welcome back to the tentacly place where we lay on top of each other and touch each other with tentacles, but like lovingly though. But, little bit. but lovingly. But lovingly. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so heckin' much for four months. I really appreciate it. Welcome in, everybody. How are the rest of your Saturdays? How have the beginning of your Sundays been? Or however that translates in your time zone? Welcome on in. Hello. Hi, Frog. Making food? Ooh, that sounds yummy. Hi, Ava. Welcome in. Good to see ya. What are you making, Saul? What are you making? Not to be too forward tech. But what are you wearing under that hoodie? Absolutely nothing, QP. It is completely naked under here. Completely bare. Completely bare, QP. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. So, I want to get right into it today because uh, we are. I'm continuing our Doki Doki playthrough because I figured, like, it wouldn't make. Like, I really want to. I really want to play through it. And it wouldn't make sense to play Jackbox and then, like, two weeks later come back to Doki Doki. Like, it just wouldn't make any sense. So we're gonna continue to play Doki Doki Plus today. Now, that being said, we have to get through our business meeting first, okay? And there's, there's stuff, there's stuff to do. I'm, I'm adding, I'm adding Cupid's love poem, Cupid's love poem to my list of stuff to do. Um, so, uh, uh, so, the agenda for today, okay, is businessy business meeting, as always. We are announcing the winner of the Octo Plushie giveaway, so I hope you're all, you all are super excited about that. At long last, y'all will get to know who has won this adorable, little Octo Plushie in a slightly lighter yellow. Yes. Yes, you will. Okay. And then we're going to be playing Doki Doki for the stream, alright? And then we're going to do the clip tournament, and then we're going to do the garden. Okay, so that's that's sort of the that's sort of the agenda for the, the day um, In terms of the businessy business meeting the first thing that I want to say is that um, We have our first contributor to the moon cycle fund. We have our first donator to the moon cycle fund um, If you weren't here yesterday, we introduced something called the moon cycle fund if you type in exclamation point moon cycle You can check it out. Basically you can contribute uh, you can you can donate m money to that fund and it is used to help people in the community who are currently going through their moon cycles. So um, I, I contributed $25 myself and then yesterday after stream Moop contributed $20. So we have we have like a we have like a little bit of a we have a little bit of a fund which is really cool. And so like basically what will happen is like when women or when people come in say you know like talking about like how they have cravings or like they, you know, are having trouble, like, affording, like, tampons or pads or, like, whatever. We can, like, PayPal them funds and, like, help them out, you know? Like, just make just make that time a little bit easier for them. So, yeah. So, uh, so I'm excited about that. I, I, and I want, I want to say thank you to Moop for being the first contributor to that. Um, the next thing that I wanted to... I, I, I'm really excited to actually show you all something. So, hold on, let me see. Wait, let me dress properly for this very si serious business meeting. Yes, frog. Yes, get 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 yourself, get your little frog self all dressed up in a little frog suit and like have your little your little twirly mustache. I need pizza, Bertie. We can get pizza. Do you want to go to Do you want to go to Blaze today? Maybe. Do you want to go to Blaze together, Bertie? I'd like to go to Blaze. That'd be nice. A little date at Blaze, maybe. Maybe if you want. Anyway, I'm really excited to show y'all something. Trash has started this tradition where uh, every every month for the MeUndies photo shoot, which just released, if you type in exclamation point dinos, 
you can see the latest. You you can you can sign up to be an octo tier patron and get the the Dinos Meundies photo shoot. So every month, Trash does a does like a piece of fan art for the Meundies photo shoot. And this uh, for for last month, he did it for the Pride photo shoot. And I wanted to show it off because it's super heckin' cute. I uh, I I think that's my penis, by the way. I um I I. When, when Trash first sent this to me, I was like, wow, I look like a superhero. And he was like, exactly. And I was like, oh my god, Trash, stop. So, um, so yeah, so I, I, I really like this a lot, and I wanted to show it off on stream. Also, I think I'm wearing a ball gag. So, you know, there's that. But anyway, um, yeah, I really like this a lot. So, if, you, if, you're, if you're interested in checking out the, the MeUndies photo shoot, exclamation point dinos, and you can, you can check that out. But I was just really, I, I, I'm always really flattered to get, get this piece of fan art. And speaking, speaking of fan art, um, I may or may not, I may or may not have, um, have commissioned some new art. Uh... Uh, I may or may not, I may or may not yesterday have gone on Fiverr, and, um, um, well, I might have, um, I might have, I might have, like, put out a request, I might have put out a request saying, like, hey, here's a couple of things that I want, and I might have woke up this morning to, like, 60 plus replies, and, like, I maybe I might have I might have looked through those replies and chosen a couple and commissioned them to do a couple of different things and and they may be working on them currently so uh, just I don't just saying maybe I don't know I don't know I, I who's to say who's to say um okay so moving on um Recently, I put out this tweet that was like, hey, what's something that you struggle with as a content creator? What's something that, like, you have trouble grasping as a content creator? Like, whatever. And I got a bunch of replies, actually. It was really cool. And one of the replies was from Brownie. And uh, Brownie says Arf is somebody who, like, we've, like, collaborated with in the past. And he's, he's a cool guy. So check him out. Here, shout out. Shout out. Brownie says Arf. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so um, so you can go check him out, give him a follow. So he wrote in and was like, hey, one of the things that I really struggle with is like getting good feedback as a content creator. Like, I feel like the only people that actually reply are the people that really love my content so they don't have anything critical to say. Like, I want constructive criticism. I don't want just people to be mean, but like, it's hard to even get constructive criticism. And, and I have also struggled with this. I totally, I totally like, I totally understand that struggle. And I think that I've gotten to a pretty good place in terms of like being able to get good feedback. And so I wrote a little a little blog post about it. So if you type in exclamation point feedback, you can check out that blog post. Um, and it, it just it just goes over sort of like so, some things that I've learned about that. Um, and I'll probably be like posting this on Twitter and like tagging Brownie in, in it and stuff. Um, but if, if you'd like to check it out, it's it's there and it's available for you. Um, oh, 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 so I have something I'm really excited to tell you all about. It also has to do with Moop. Moop is like the star of this businessy business meeting. Um, so over the past week, Moop popped into Discord and was like, hey, I have been wanting to start. So it started at the Tentacle Town Hall where Moop was like, hey, I want to start reading more. What book should I read? I have all these different books. And so we like suggested a book for Moop to start reading and everything out of the books that she had. And then later she popped into Discord and she was like, hey, uh, would anyone be interested in reading with me? Like sort of like a tentacle book club. And I was like, ah, I love that idea. So, uh, so we started like a sort of unofficial tentacle book club and we're reading and then there were none together. And um, I am actually listening to it on audiobook. I think that Trash is, uh, is listening to it on audiobook as well. And then I think that Moop is actually like re reading through it, like honestly. Um, so if you would like to join in on that, I think that like at the end of the month, we're just gonna have like a little a little talk, a little talk about the book. And I don't know, I might make like uh, I might make like a Discord channel so that we can like have the talks and stuff. Um, but but yeah, I think it'll be fun. It'll just be like a fun little way to encourage each other to read, which is like a good habit, and uh, and just a way to sort of connect the community, you know. 
It's a really good book. The audiobook is free on YouTube. There you go. Audiobook free on YouTube. I'm using my parents' Audible account, and they have it, so it works out. But yeah, you can get it for free on YouTube. That's awesome. Um, yeah, yeah. So I was excited about that. Uh, the, the next thing that I want to talk about is that I, I mentioned this yesterday in the Discord, but I just wanted to like say it in person to y'all, that yesterday we reached Twitch payout on the first stream of the month, which to me is really, really incredible. I'm just, I, I, I just, I just really wanted to express like, I don't know, like how lucky I am and grateful I am, um, for, for, for this amazing community. Um, it, 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 it touches my heart. So, so. So yeah, so thanks. So I appreciate you. Okay, okay. All right. Um. Oh, okay. All right. I'm really excited about this one. So, y'all know that recently I I started a fan house. Okay, which is basically where I it's like a it's like a it's like a PG-13 only fans. Okay, but instead of using it for like lewds, I use it for like my personal life updates like things in life that i'm going through that like i don't talk about anywhere else but that i but that i share there and i wanted to give y'all like a little bit more of a taste a little bit more of a taste of what my of what my fan house is like so there's this cool thing that i can do on fan house where i can give y'all a little code so if y'all go to fan house and you type in the code tentacle in all caps you'll get like a free, like a free trial basically. And you can like get access to my fan house for a limited time. So if you go to my fan house and you type in code tentacle, you can go like check out like the things that I do there. It's like, it's like the, the way that fan house describes it is it's like shower thoughts, felt cute might delete later pics. Like it's just like all sorts of fun little, fun little personal things without much like filter or anything like that. So if you'd like to check that out, it's uh, it's it's free. It's free for you. Hey, what's up, Demim seven seven seven? Welcome on in. You make me feel oh, hi. Like a bad girl. Ooh, thank you so much for the follow, Demim. Welcome to the Tentacle Place. You make me feel like such a bad girl. Hey, how did you find this place? Where did you come from? Tell me all about your life story. Welcome on in. Um, okay. And then I think that the last thing, other than Cupid's love poem that I will write afterward, is to announce the winner of the giveaway let me see let me see i'm not sure i'm not sure how it works hold on let me see let's see how this works it oh okay it's awarded at 11 30 it looks like so we have we have six minutes until the giveaway opens which sounds like the perfect amount of time to write a love poem so let's write QP a love poem if you've never been part of a love poem here before, you'll catch on pretty quick. Just follow along. Follow along. You'll get it. You'll get it. Don't worry. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Love poem time. <clears throat> Dear Cupy, you are my widow. Cutie poopy Cuz you're all squishy and sweet and If you want you can even suckle from my teat I Want to give you all the pets What rhymes with pets other than frets? I don't want to use frets. Uh, what rhymes with pets? Gosh dang it. Uh, all right, I know. I want, I'll do a loose rhyme. I want to give you all the pet. Oh, that's a good one. That's actually really good, Saul. I want to give you all the pets, and I'll even go into massive debts because you're worth it, my 
sexy little twins. And together, our hearts will always be pinned. Tentaxix dwell. Tech. All right, let's read that back, ladies and gentlemen. Dear Cupie, you are my whittle cutie poopy, cause you're all squishy and sweet. And if you want, you can even suckle from my teat. I want to give you all the pets. And I'll even go into massive debts because you're worth it, my little sexy, tw my sexy little twins. And together, our hearts will always be pinned. Pentaxix dwell. Tech. <laughs> wow. That was really beautiful. <laughs> Let's add it to our quote system. Add quote. Boom! There you go. Quote number 146. Congratulations, Cupy. Congratulations, you've done it. You've done the things. Let me, let me, I saw a couple people. Ducky, I recently tested positive for COVID and lost my sense of taste, so I started watching your stream. I'm sorry that you got COVID. That sucks, and that you lost your sense of taste, but I'm happy that you're here. I hope, I hope that I've helped a little bit. I'm half Italian, half Scottish, and I cracked my head when I was five years old, played rugby. Nice, nice, you actually gave me your life story. I love it, I love it. Not many people actually give me their life story, so it makes me happy when people do. I also cracked my head open when I was little. See that little, see that little scar I have? I was, I was learning how to walk. I was baby tech, and I was learning how to walk, and there was a toy on the floor. And instead of being a smart baby and going around the toy, I, I tried to step over the toy and instead stepped on the toy, and I slipped and went, boop, right into the corner of a wall. So that's my that's my little story. Um, yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me let me get let me get the grooves going again. Okay, catching up, 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 catching up. I cried a bit. I bet. I bet, Frog. My heart's melting. Good, QP. Good. That's for you. Hi, little red bunnies. Good to see you. Welcome in. How are you? Cupy Burb, ah, oh, I feel so loved. Come here, come here, bunny. Smother her, men. Smother her in love. Exclamation point. Cuddle. Start that cuddle pile. All right, all right, ladies and gents. Are y'all? Are 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 y'all? We we still we we have to we have to we have to like just chat. We have to just chat for like two more minutes until 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 we can announce the give the winner of the giveaway. I wasn't expecting to run through my I wasn't expecting to run through my my business meeting so quickly, but I, I, I really I really did run through it very fast. So that's that's good. I'm I'm glad that I did that. But now 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 I have to wait one minute to announce the winner of the giveaway. <coughs> so Oh, cur all right, all right. Rose is gonna make me work out. Rose is gonna make me work out for the for, to, to wait for the giveaway. I mean, I am wearing a, I am wearing like a. This is like very like workout attire. I feel not the jeans, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. All right, here we go. Let's do some curls, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Get your booties ready. Here we go. Oh, oh, I got bonked. Wait, did someone trigger horny jail? Did horny jail get triggered? Oh no, okay, okay. Saul just Saul just bonked me. Thank you very much for the biddies, I appreciate that. Alright, let's heck and let's heck and do it. Here we go, here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. All right, feels good. Thank you, Rosie. Appreciate you. I did yoga this morning, and uh, I I decided. So normally I get up at I get up at 8:30 on Sundays, okay? And I usually start my yoga by 8:45 because like I have to like get in my workout clothes and like get my armed and girly. Hi, it's great to see you. How are you? Welcome in. Um. Uh, I have to like get my yoga mat set up and everything and like get the video chosen and everything and I like bring up OBS so that I can like watch myself work out and everything and uh, 
So normally I do 45 minutes, so it goes from 8.45 to 9.30. But today I decided instead of doing that, I would do 30 minutes of yoga and then 15 minutes of meditation. So that was really nice. I really liked that. I did, I did 30 minutes of yoga. It was nice. It was uh, a lot of like hip openers today, which I really love personally. Like, like hip openers have always felt really good to me. Even when I was first starting yoga, like one of my favorite, one of my favorite uh, exercises, one of my favorite poses was pigeon pose. And it still is to this day. So the, like having lots of hip openers in the exercise was, was really nice. <clears throat> Let's see. What have I missed? What have I missed? We had a we had a big old cuddle pile. Good, 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 good. I was scarred my knee from falling off my electric scooter while going really fast. Gotta go fast. Brr. Scooter go fast. This is literally the best way I could have started this morning. <gasps> okay. All right. <clears throat> Okay, all right. <clears throat> so I'll thank you again for those biddies. I appreciate it. Do your eye exercises? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, me and Rosie, me and Rosie gotta do our eye exercises. Which is pigeon pose? Please demonstrate. Nice try, try. I know what you're trying to do. Are you trying to get a free pigeon pose out of me? I was thinking about adding in like a, like, like we have like gym. I was thinking of adding in like a, I don't know, like a five minute yoga routine or something that y'all could redeem. I have incredibly open hips naturally, so I sit in butterfly, my knees and whole legs touch the floor. Dang. Picks. I want picks. Oh, thank you for the love, Heartbreaker the Unicorn. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I don't even know how to send you to Horny Jail. You're too lewd for it. Oh, it's literally a command, Saul. You can type in, it costs panties, but you can type in exclamation point, exclamation point Horny Jail and you can, you can send me to, you can send me to Horny Jail. I definitely enjoy Child the most. Yeah, Child's Pose is really nice. Downward Facing Dog is my favorite because I can do it well. That's fair, that's fair. And th it's good that you can do it well because down Downward Facing Dog is very much sort of like a like a resting pose or like a sort of like a reset pose during like yoga routines. So it's a good one. Hi, Me Beam. It's great to see you. Welcome in. How are you? Let's see. Oh, all right. Red alert. Red alert, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to Horny Jail. Horny Jail has been triggered for the next minute. Y'all can heckin' bonk me with bits. Five bits or more will give me a nice bonk on the head. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Horny Jail. <clears throat> if we send, uh, if we send all the horny people to Horny Jail, aren't they going to be horny together in jail? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, while I'm in horny jail, while, oh, thank you, Birdie, for the bonk. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. While I'm in horny jail, um, oh, dang. So, so you remember, you remember the art that, oh, God. Wow. Oh, God. Incredibly juicy. Cupid, thank you so much for gifting us up to Orion. Orion, welcome back to the tentacly place where we lay on top of each other and touch each other with tentacles, but like lovingly though, but little lewd, but lovingly, but lewd. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so heckin' much, Cupid. I really appreciate you gifting in yet another sub. Thank you so much. We are now, we are now, this is, I can't believe what I'm saying. I shouldn't even say this. We are now only, <laughs> We are now only 40 subs away from, uh, from, from 200 subs. So, you know, just saying. Oh, Cupid, thank you for the two biddies. Appreciate ya. Appreciate ya. Okay. All right. I sent pics to out of context. Nice, nice. I'm excited to look at him, buddy. Thank you for the last of your bits in my slut cup. I appreciate it, Cupid. 
Oh yeah, twerking in a horny jail. That's something normal you see every day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is incredible. Ah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. The SWM team, welcome in. How are you? Okay, so you remember, y'all, how I said I may or may not have gone on Fiverr and 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 commissioned some art. Uh, well, uh, they may or may not have sent me a sketch already. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna peek at that real quick. Wow. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> what was I doing? Oh, the giveaway. I was announcing the winner of the giveaway. Let me see. How do I... How do I... How do I do it? How do I do it? Hold on. Okay, ready to award. Here we go. Ready to award. Okay, so here's the thing. I... I think... I think that I know this person, but I don't act like it only shows me their email. So I don't actually know for sure if I know this person. I what what do I do? There's no there's no username. There's only an email. Do I just do I just email them? Can I say the email? That's not good, right? I shouldn't say the email. But I'm pretty sure I know who it is. Is, um, is, uh, is, what, what's their name? Uh, crap. Uh, Push. Is Push here? Is Push here? I don't know if Push is here. I think it might be Push. I think it might be Push who won the giveaway. <clears throat> so, a little bit anticlimactic, but that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> anyway, congratulations. Uh, I will I will shoot them an email and uh, and 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 be sending them the uh, be sending them the, uh, the 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 little the little octo plushie. They had they had. 16 entries. 16 entries in the giveaway. So, there you go. Alright, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready to get into some heckin' Doki Doki Plus? We are starting with, uh, we are starting with poem writing today because we, that's where we left off yesterday. We got all the way to, like, writing the next poem and we stopped. Alright. Let's heck and do it. Let's heck and do it. Let me let me let me get the game up. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need Gosh dang it, I forgot to close form together. Hold on. We have to take our we have to take our technically stretch break now because I forgot to stop. I started I started form together last night uh for for me beam and I forgot to close it out. So we have to take our technically stretch break so I can I can go close it out. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everybody type in exclamation point self care. Get up, stretch your tentacles, do some yoga, all that good stuff, and we'll be we'll be right heckin' back. Behave yourselves. No naughty business. You 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 know who you are. You know who you are. I'll be right heckin' back. Uh uh okay, pump this up. Uh, Alright. Party animals! Do your party animal things and behave. No naughty business.
All hail Buff Elmo, the king of the stream and his queen nugget. You know, it's weird, Cupy. I could have sworn. I could have sworn that you said that, uh, that, that those were the last of your biddies. Huh? Huh? That those, that those, like, two biddies were the last of your biddies. What, uh, what, 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 what happened there, huh? What happened, Cupy? What, what, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Thank you so much for the heckin' naughty 169 biddies and the... 150 my name is nugget and I'm a big fat chicken biddies. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much That's very generous you naughty bean. Thank you so much Welcome back everybody. Hello. Hello frog bunny cupie rosie Birdie Saul. oh birdie uh, about um About you having a dress on the invitation it says that casual is preferred. Like they don't they don't they don't want people like dressing up super fancy for the wedding. Welcome back, Rosie. Okay. Alright. I hope you all had a good a good stretch break. A good technical stretch break. Let's get into Doki Doki. We have a lot of work to do. How many hats can I make you wear at the same time? Just one. Just one. Just one at a time. In fact, if like if somebody redeems a hat and then somebody redeems another hat. It bonks that hat off my head. I told her she should just go naked. I mean, honestly, Ash would probably be down. Like, Ash is pretty, uh, Ash is pretty, you know, free-flowing, free, free if you know what I mean. Alright, so let's transition over to the sweet, sweet Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Wait. Good. Good. Yes. You did good, Tech. Good job. Good job. You used the sound effect. <clears throat> I have to head downstairs and take my meds and stuff. I'm gonna head off, but I leave you with this. Ooh, some red bunny ears. Ooh. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Here I am. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. 15, Look at me. Here I am. Love me. Okay. Alright. Let's heckin' do it. You have a great day, Bunny. Let's heckin' do it. What pictures do we have? Ah. Uh, Look at all the cute pictures we have. Aw, uh, we have like all the poems. And we've unlocked this. I love it. I love it. That's so cool. That's so cool. And I can like immediately set it as my wallpaper. That's really rad. I like that a lot. Look at how much there is to unlock. Look at all this. Holy gosh. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. here we go. Ooh, look, music. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
Where's the like... I feel like there's a... We've already unlocked like one of the demented ones. This is really cool. I like this a lot. All right. Anyway, into the into the game. Here we go. Wow! Incredibly juicy. What would you do if you woke up inside an anime dating sim game? What would you do if you woke up inside an anime dating sim game? Well, probably, you know, date anime, you know? That, I, I figure that's like my only choice, right? Prom, thank you so much for hacking 15 months! Welcome back to the tentacly place where we lay on top of each other and touch each other with tentacles, but like, <gasps> lovingly though, but lovingly, but lovingly. But loot. Welcome, 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 promise. Lovely to see you. Thank you so much for hacking 15 months of support. I always, I always love having you here, prom. <laughs> How are you doing, man? All right, let's get, let's get, let's get it going. We're starting out with poem time, ladies and gentlemen. And you know, you know how we do poem time here, don't you? You remember, don't you? I'm gonna do this. All right, so. We go from left to right, up to down, okay? So it's like portrait one, horror two, fear three, poof four, time five, bliss six, flea seven, candy eight, starscape nine, and philosophy ten, all right? So we're starting out round one, and we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, everybody, cast your votes. Numbers one through ten, just type them in chat. Just type them in chat. Do you want portrait, horror, fear, poof, time, bliss, you make me feel candy, like star shape, or philosophy? Woo! you make me feel like such a bad girl. Hey, how'd you find this place? Where'd you come from? Tell me all about your life story. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. You make me feel like such a bad girl. I'll be here for a bit, but I have an appointment at urgent care I'll need to leave for. Ankle has been bothering me for a few days and doesn't seem to be getting better, and has become almost impossible to walk on. I'm starting to worry it's a fracture. That is worrisome, yeah, for sure. What, how did it start? Like, did you did you trip? Did you hurt yourself working out? Are you not sure at all? That sucks, dude. I'm sorry to hear it. Hey, Paul. It's good to see you. Welcome on in. All right, so y'all are really liking Starscape. I'm not surprised. Ava, Ava's a big fan of, Ava's a big fan of stars and galaxies and all the things. I wrote Ava a poem about that. Birdie really wants candy. Candy. Birdie likes candy. Which one's gonna be Starscape? Is it gonna be Yuri? I think it might be Yuri. Alright, that's it. Starscape wins it. Let's see who it is. Yep, that's Yuri. Okay, here we go. Moving on. Next one. Round two, ladies and gentlemen. We have laugh, spinning, color, explode, depression, shopping, loud, friends, bubbles, or feather. And vote. I think that, uh, I, I, I don't think we even have to vote on this one. I think that we all know Bubbles is gonna win. Even in the way that I said it, Bubbles was gonna win. <laughs> Bubbles. Saul, Saul is being a rebel. Saul wants depression to win. I don't even know, it just started hurting a few days ago. I thought maybe I had sprained it from a roll I didn't notice. That's wild, dude. That's wild, that's so scary. I hate, like, like when you get injured and you know what happened, it makes so much sense. But like when like it's like when you it's like when you get up from bed and you feel like you have some kind of sports related injury and you look back at the bed like you're going to be able to figure out what happened, you know? It's like a true crimes episode. You're just like what what happened here? I must dust for clues. Oh, Cupid, congratulations on level 60. My goodness gracious. All right, bubbles it is. What am I doing? I set the things in the wrong place. 
Bubbles it is. Bubbles is, uh, is Natsuki. All right, here we go. Round three, we have Smile, Daydream, Vibrant, Peace, Intellectual, Treasure, Infallible, Rose, Nibble, or Bouncy. And start. Ah, uh, yes, we all live under the whims of the burb. May she live forever. I hate not knowing because then you start thinking of bad things instead of obvious ones. Yeah, totally. It's looking like Bouncy currently has the lead. How much influence does me saying one of the words funny have? The bird kidnapped me? Oh. Oh, no. I mean, there are definitely worse people to get kidnapped by, to be fair. You lucky bean. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Just a few seconds left. It looks like Bouncy. And the closest one to Bouncy is Rose. Rose is pretty close. Like one or two more votes might push Rose into the lead. But looks like it's over. So, Bouncy it is. That is once again Natsuki, ladies and gentlemen. We have two for Natsuki. Somebody keep count, okay? So far, it's two for Natsuki. Wait, but we're on round four. Did I miss one? Oh, we had one for Yuri. Two for Natsuki, one for Yuri. Somebody keep count. Two for Natsuki, one for Yuri. <clears throat> okay, round four. We have Cute, Unstable, Uncanny, Joy, Socks, Papa, Sugar, Pop, Embrace, and Fireworks. Personally, I like Socks. I like Socks. Aw, oh, fireworks, because it's 4th of July. Aw, oh, happy 4th of July, everybody. I don't have any special, like, 4th of July event planned. I'm sorry. I have lots of events planned this month, just not a 4th of July one. I mean, if Birdie Cat kidnaps you, the ransom is just going to be in bird coin, which you should be buying anyways. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Tenna Carl here, your local head of sellout. Did you know that you can invest in Birdcoin, the world's best microcurrency? Type in exclamation point Birdcoin and buy some Birdcoin today. Guaranteed to double my money in a year. <laughs> All right. What do we got? What do we got, ladies and gentlemen? What's Birdcoin? Type it in. Type it in, exclamation point bird coin. Invest, invest today, Saul, invest today. All right, so let's see, it looks like fireworks won it. Got him. Ooh, okay, so that one was, uh, that one was Sayori. Fireworks was Sayori. So now it's, now it's uh, one for Yuri, one Natsuki, no, two Natsuki, and one Sayori. Okay. It's not an emo emote anymore. It is not, but it still lives on. It still lives on strong. I'm just gonna keep these in my notepad here. Hold on. Natsuki has two. Uh, uh, Sayori has one, and uh, Yuri has one. I'm gonna do these. I'm gonna do little uh, little tallies instead of numbers because that's easier. Okay, there we go. Okay, good. Hey, Paul, congrats on level two. Okay, uh, so we are on round five. Ugh, round five. Okay, fluffy, disoriented, determination, warm, vitality, wonderful, headphones, disarray, puppy, or uncontrollable, and go. I think I would probably pick Fluffy. I think I would probably pick Fluffy here. I, I, I do enjoy me some fluff. Some good old fluffin. You know what I mean? Bear Hats also likes fluff. Hey, what's up, Obi? Welcome on in. Good to see you. How are you doing? 
Obi-Wan's wonderful. Wonderful is a good, or no, disarray. Obi-Wan's disarray, ooh. Obi is an agent of chaos. All right, just a few more seconds left and it looks like Fluffy is currently our biggest winner here. Is it numbered up and down or left to right? Yes. So it's it's Fluffy, dis, like Fluffy 1, Disoriented 2, Determination 3, Warm 4, Vitality 5, Wonderful 6, Headphones 7, Disarray 8, Puppy 9, and Uncontrollable 10. Left to right, up to down. Just like you would read. <clears throat> okay, finish poll. Number one wins Fluffy. That is Natsuki. Three for Natsuki so far, ladies and gentlemen. Three for Natsuki. Embrace the chaos. All right, here we go. Round six, we have uh, Summer, Existence, Atone, Misery, Fester, Pout, Cry, Party, Disaster, or Vivacious and start. I would pick Vivacious for sure. I love that word. But that's probably a Yuri word, and I'm not a huge fan of, of Yuri. So, you know, don't, 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 don't choose based off me. Ooh, Six is currently winning it. Pout. Aww, Chad is pouting. Aww. Obi wants eight, which is party. Obi, Obi likes, likes chaos and partying hard. I like it. I like it. But it looks like it can't compete with the cuteness of Pout. 12 votes for Pout. I think we can go ahead and call this one. All right, Pout it is. Again. Natsuki. That's four for Natsuki. Natsuki is overwhelmingly leading this here. Okay, round seven. We have Rain Cloud, Extreme, Vacation, Secretive, Empty, Jump, Holiday, Crimson, Mouse, or Peaceful, and Vote. In the wise words of Andrew WK, when it's time to party, we will party hard. That reminds me of Ad Adjmas's raid alert. I think Birdie might be the only one who gets that, but. Currently we have a tie between eight and 10, a tie between Crimson and Peaceful. Crimson and Peaceful. I do like me Crimson, but I think that Crimson is for sure Yuri. I also like, Peaceful's okay, Peaceful's fine. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not like super special, but it's fine. What would I pick? I don't know. I probably would have picked Crimson, to be honest. I really like the word Crimson. Alexa, stop. All right. Peaceful it is. Peaceful is Sayori. We're three for Sayori, four for Natsuki. All right. Round eight. We have... Desire, Kitty, Heaven Sent, Pleasure, Clouds, Sweet, Adventure, Fun, Charm, and Pure. Vote it up. Yeah, I knew that Desire would be a popular one with this crowd. For sure. OS can't draw. Hi, it's good to see you. Welcome on in. Cute little gif emote. Desire, I think, is gonna be Yuri. Is, Sa Sa is Sayori the purple? No, so Yuri is the purple. Uh, Sayori is the uh, pink hair with the bow, and then Natsuki is the girl in the middle with the with with the like little cross hair thing. <clears throat> 
Um, and to describe their personalities a little bit, Birdie, you have Sayori, who is like really like sweet and just like wants everybody to be happy. You have Natsuki, who's like the Sundare, the the one who's like sort of bratty, but like but actually like really really likes you a lot. And then you have Yuri, who I don't personally like, but she is the she's the Yondare. She's she's uh, like super super shy, but then I mean that's kind of spoilers. But anyway, um, she she is she's really into like literature and writing and books and all that jazz. All right, so it looks like four won it. What was four? One, two, three, pleasure. Mm. Uh huh. Okay, so pleasure was Yuri. All right, next up. Hi, Pyro. Welcome in. How are you? Desire and pleasure are popular here. Very popular. Pyro, I'm really glad you're here. It's good to see you. All right, so this is round nine, ladies and gentlemen. We have Together, Pain, Precious, Meager, Lipstick, Skipping, Climax, Extraordinary, Wrath, and Tragedy. And voted up. She's the Ravenclaw of the group. Yeah, yeah, except, yeah. I, you could say that, yeah. There, there's, yeah. I. I, I, I can't give spoilers, so so I'm just gonna say yeah. I thought one of them was called Monica. Guess I'm thinking of a different dating sim. No, you're absolutely right, Saul. Monica is not listed here. And there's reasons for that, but again, I cannot tell you because that would be spoilers. All right, looks like Seven is currently winning. Yeah, it's Climax. Yeah, of course it is. Of course, of course Climax is winning, y'all. Of course Climax is winning. Y'all are gonna end up getting Yuri. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> we don't even need to continue. There's no competition here. Climax wins it. Who's the Hufflepuff and who's the Gryffindor? Okay, so Gryffindor... I would say Gryffindor is probably Sayori. Um, Say Sayori is either Gryffindor or Hufflepuff. Because... Yeah, yeah, she's probably Hufflepuff. Sayori is probably Hufflepuff because she's just incredibly sweet. Um... Natsuki is, I guess, Gryffindor, because she's, like, feisty, you know? I feel like Gryffindors are feisty. Uh, yeah, and then Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw is Yuri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Anyway, so we're finishing poll. We had seven, so Climax, for sure. That, again, is Yuri, y'all. Your horniness is, is, is leaning you toward Yuri. It is now four for Natsuki, three for Sayori. And three for Yuri. Be careful. Be careful. All right, here we go. Round 10. We're halfway through, everybody. Halfway through. After image. Sticky. Uh, awesome. Journey. Disown. Dazzle. Anime. Sunset. Or... Oh, memories or agonizing. And... Go. Uh, I would vote Sticky. Just saying. I would definitely vote Sticky. If every Ravenclaw was Luna, though, Luna is, uh, Hufflepuff, right? Luna Lovegood is Hufflepuff? I think? No, she's Gryffindor. What am I talking about? Luna Lovegood is Gryffindor, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Luna Lovegood. Oh, yeah. Y'all are voting for anime? Makes sense. Luna is Ravenclaw? Is she? Why is Luna Ravenclaw? That's fascinating. She does not strike me as a Ravenclaw at all. You ignorant slut. Hey, what's up, Slava Kitty Love? Welcome on in. How are you? She represents the creative branch of Ravenclaw. Fascinating. She's devoted to finding and exposing the truth. Her, her thirst for knowledge makes her Ravenclaw. Fascinating. Fascinating. You make me feel, feel like a bad girl. Ooh, Slava Kitty Love. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome on into the Tentacly place. Thanks for making me feel like a bad girl. Hey, how'd you find this place? Where'd you come from? Tell me all about your life story. Welcome on in. <clears throat> I'm doing really well. I'm doing really well. Thanks for asking. I'm definitely Ravenclaw. I think that I'm Slytherin. I'm Hufflepuff. I think that you are Hufflepuff, but I don't think that that's a bad thing, Birdie. I don't know why you think that that's a bad thing. All right, so anime wins it. That makes sense. That's definitely going to be Natsuki for sure. For sure. Natsuki takes a 
What is that? Fifth? One, two, three, four. Yeah, fifth vote. I have no clue what house I'm in, and I honestly don't care. That's fine, OS can draw. I'm Hufflepuff. Hmm. I don't know about that. I mean, you've probably, like, taken quizzes and stuff, but I don't, I, I don't know about that. I don't know if you're Hufflepuff. Okay, round 11. Here we go. Calm, swimsuit, dream, nature, defeat, inferno, judgment, heart, anxiety, or passion. And go. Calm, swimsuit, dream, nature, defeat, inferno, judgment, heart, anxiety, or passion. I think I would choose swimsuit. I've been really into swimsuits lately. That's good. How did I find you? I was just interested in some DDLC Plus play. Uh, the uh, thought, the, though, so I decided to watch your stream. Nice. Well, I hope that your recommended steered you right. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I, I, this is Doki Doki Literature Club is one of my favorite games of all time. Normally we play Jackbox on this stream, but uh, I love this game so much that when I heard that they were announcing the Plus version, I had to play it. I had to. <clears throat> Tech, you and I are on the same page. Oh, we're both into swimsuits. It's because it's because we both look at like those like gorgeous, gorgeous like anime anime swimsuit art. Like it's just woo. Ooh, baby. What in the world is this? What's up, Gracie? Welcome on in. How are you? What house would you put me in, Tech? I'm not sure, QP. It's a good question. Honestly, QP, I think that you might also be a Slytherin like me. Obi, congratulations on level 8. I'm good. I'm also doing well. I'm glad to hear that you're that you're doing good. What's the plus version? It has additional content, Saul. It has new content. Okay, so let me see what we got. Uh, sorry, I've been I've been talking too much. Eight. Eight is heart. Aw, y'all are so heckin' wholesome. Heart. All right, that was Sayori. All right, Sayori is right behind Natsuki. All right, so here we go. Round 12, we have Clumsy, Vertigo, Vanilla. Oh, why am I typing these? Gosh dang, I hate it when I accidentally do that. Okay, sorry. Clumsy, Vertigo, Vanilla, S Special, uh, Sparkle, Breathe, Chocolate, Kiss, Frightening, or Doki Doki, and go. What's the horny house? That's where Tech goes. Definitely Slytherin. For sure Slytherin. I've been Ravenclaw in past quizzes. Bear Hats, I would agree with that. I would agree that you're a Ravenclaw for sure. I'd say Gryffindor is the horny one? No way! I don't think so at all. Gryffindor, Gryffindor is like, I don't know, Gryffindor is too noble to be horny. I, I actually really dislike Gryffindor a lot, which I guess makes sense since I'm Slytherin. <laughs> they like to slither in. Hey, got him! <laughs> I mean, Slytherins do live in dungeons. I rest my case. Alright, so it looks like five is our winner. One, two, three, four, five. Sparkle wins it. That is Sayori once again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh oh. What just happened? I think that Sayori just tied up Natsuki. Ooh, juicy. Juicy. Incredibly juicy. All right, round 13, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. We have landscape, graveyard, unrequited, strawberry, essence, childhood, rainbow, eternity, waterfall, or suicide. And vote, 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 vote. Birdie, Birdie, don't don't act all high and mighty like you're like you're opposed to dad jokes when literally for like a week straight all you were doing is like looking up long lists of dad jokes and spamming them in Grizz's chat. Okay, don't start with me, little girl. Don't even get. Oh, how dare! How dare! Looks like four is currently our winner, which is strawberry. I really like strawberries. 
I knew Saul was gonna pick 10. Good old suicide. I think suicide would be... Well, I, I don't actually want to say because I think it would be a spoiler. <clears throat> that was Grizz's fault? Yeah, sure. Blame whoever you want. You participated, okay? Let's not, let's not victim blame here, okay, Birdie? Take responsibility for your actions. All right, looks like four wins it. <clears throat> Good old strawberry. That is Natsuki. Natsuki once again takes the lead. With six votes. All right. Round 14. We're almost there, y'all. Almost there. 14. We have unend... Oh, I almost typed it again. Unending, Universe, Sensation, Skirt, Jumpy, Valentine, Sing, Raindrops, Death, or Forgive. I think I would choose Universe. <clears throat> oh, prom, prom, prom likes some skirts. Prom likes some skirts. Birdie, you said in your live stream you love dad jokes. Oh! Oh, Saul calling Birdie out. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Little Birdie deleted Saul's message, abusing mod powers. How dare! How dare! <laughs> What's the difference between a garbanzo bean and a chickpea? I don't know what trash. Tell us. Tell us the truth. Abuse. I'm being, I'm being oppressed. I've never had a garbanzo bean on my face. All right. So it looks like, uh, it looks like four won it once again. Four is skirt. Overwhelmingly, by the way, that is Natsuki once again. Natsuki taking that lead back strong. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Round 15. We have Shame, Lollipop, Lust, Hope, Broken, Fireflies, Marshmallow, Marriage, Tenacious, or Ribbon. And go. Which one would I pick here? Probably Lollipop. Yeah, probably Lollipop. Looks like Lollipop is currently winning. We have some competition from number three and number nine. Mostly, yeah, number three and number nine. We have Lust and Tenacious. But Lollipop is currently our, our leader. Yesterday, everyone definitely did go for Lust, Saul. They, they even made a meme about it. If you go to our Reddit, exclamation point Reddit, you can see, you can see, uh, you can see a, a, a meme that was made about that. I'm back, what happened? Hey, welcome back, Frog. We're still, we're still writing our poem and, and, and chatting. <clears throat> OS can't draw, congratulations on level five. Hey, you just unlocked your second gym badge if you've unlocked the panties vault. I think that you've unlocked the panties vault before, so be sure to go to the panty shop and get you some gym badges. I just realized, Tech, the city will be super busy because of the holiday. Which holiday? Which holiday are you referring? Oh, 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 you mean today. You mean today. I'm sorry. I thought that you meant, uh, I thought that you meant for the wedding. Gotta go get ready for the pool. Have fun. Ooh, going to the pool. I like. I like. All right. Looks like nine is our winner. Nine is tenacious. Fascinating. Fat? Really? Is that really what you wanted? Fast? I did not see that. All right. Tenacious it is. That is Yuri. Apparently we're, apparently we're throwing Yuri a bone here. All right. <clears throat> Round 16. We have Lucky, Entropy, Imagination, Unrestrained, Flower, Massacre, Melody, Misfortune, Incongruent, and Alone. Vote it up. I'm disappointed. I googled sleazy puns and top result was 21 best sales jokes ever. That is disappointing. 
Cause it's the pick of Destiny Child And you know we will be rocking like a Citizen Kane I got you, Saul. I got you. What do we got? Y'all, why why is alone winning? Can we not can we not be super depressed, please? Can we please can we uh can we fix this? Thank you. Yeah, imagine imagination. Like SpongeBob. Yeah, good. SpongeBob. Imagination. Tech, what's the most condescending bear? I don't know. What, 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 what is the most condescending bear? All right, that's it, closing it, quick. Before, before they change their mind. Imagination, dang it, that's Yuri again. Y'all stop it with Yuri, I hate Yuri. All right. Here we go. Round 17, contamination, excitement, cheeks, Hurt, romance, bunny, grief, twirl, despise, or whistle. I would choose cheeks just because, you know, like, these cheeks. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And if you don't, just wait till, just, just, just wait till we get a sub and then you'll know what I'm saying. To oversimplify the houses, Gryffindor are supposed to be brave, noble, etc. The stereotypical hero type, Slytherins don't play by the rules and are willing to bend them to get what they want. Hufflepuffs are good and loyal friends, value fair play. Hard workers, Ravenclaws are passionate about learning stuff. However, that um, doesn't have to be passionate about schoolwork. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, looks like Six is currently winning. Bunny is overwhelmingly overwhelmingly dominating I don't think that there's really any competition here bunny has it in the bag y'all love your bunnies and I don't mind because that's not Suki and I like not Suki <clears throat> all right round 18 sadness cheer hopeless analysis sunny electricity lazy kawaii prayer or milk I love the word milk. Don't tell anyone, but I really love the word milk. You don't you don't like the word milk, Pyro? I just I think it's like it's like ASMR. It's like milk. Like oh oh yeah oh milk. Oh I love it. I love it. I don't like milk at all. But I like milk. Like, oh, oh, oh. I don't like ASMR speaking. I don't really like ASMR speaking either. But I like milk. Like, mmm. Big mommy milkers. I also like those. I do also like those. <laughs> that made me uncomfortable, JK. <laughs> All right, what do we got? We got eight. What's eight? Kawaii? I'm down for that. I'm down for some good old kawaii. I have nipples tech. Could you milk me? <laughs> All right, eight wins it. Kawaii. All right, good old Natsuki. All right, round 19. We're almost there, we're almost done. Round 19, we have Anger, Blanket, Amazing, Fickle, Boop, Destiny, Incapable, Tears, Bed, or Whisper. What would I choose? Boop or Whisper? I would choose Boop or Whisper. Aw, oh, Blanket. It's because y'all want a cuddle pile, isn't it? Aw. All right. All right. We can start a cuddle pile. You little cuddle bugs. You're all a bunch of cuddle bugs. Get in there. Get in that cuddle pile. All right. What's winning right now? Two? Blanket. Yeah. Aw. So I went with Boop. <laughs> a few seconds left it's between it's between blanket and boop it's close like one or two votes oh no that's it that's it all right 
heckin' blanket it is. Again, Natsuki. Alright, last one. It's sort of a foregone conclusion. Natsuki is definitely winning this one. But, oh, Pyro. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's alright. There's one more. You can, you can participate in this one. It's sort of a foregone conclusion. Natsuki won it, but it's still fun. So, hair, ocean, giggle, heartbeat, promise, family, email, parfait, nightgown, or beauty. And go. I think I would go with giggle. I like, I like, I like giggling. Giggling is cute. Pyro likes parfait. Good stuff, good stuff. You make me feel Ooh. like a bad girl. Annie lol 7179 thank you so much for the follow. Thanks for making me feel like a bad girl. Hey, how'd you find this place? Where'd you come from? Tell me all about your life story. Welcome on in. Welcome to the Tanakly place. Nightgown, so lewd. Oh, it's almost as bad as hand holding. <gasps> all right. I wanted one for breakfast the other day and I couldn't find one anywhere. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. By the way, Tech, did you see the answer to bear? No, I did not, Saul. No, I did not. What is the most condescending kind of bear? What was it? What was it? A pan, duh. I see what you did there. That's good. That's good. I like that. I like that. All right, uh, finish poll. What is it? Eight. Eight. Parfait wins it. Well played. Well played. That is once again Natsuki. Natsuki overwhelmingly won. Overwhelmingly won. Hand holding is almost as bad as eye contact. <laughs> hey Skelly Pots, welcome on in. Good to see ya. <clears throat> Tech making the best anime girl sounds since even before VTubing was a thing. <laughs> Darn right. All right, continuing on. Oh, we, we need to close the overlay. Hold on. Sorry. There we go. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little bit more comfortable here over the past couple days. A cream pie parfait sounds delicious. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. I'm sad today, but happy to see y'all. I'm sorry you're feeling sad, Skelly. Would you like to share what you're feeling sad about? Hi, Tech. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Some of my friends are fighting. Oh, that is tough. I'm sorry, Skelly. That sucks. Okay, let's see. Um, speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Huh? Th that's not like you at all! I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Uh, uh, wh why that? All of a sudden. No reason, really. I, I just wanted to look at it. Uh, uh. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that only leaves the one option. <laughs> I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. Hey, what's up, Lynx? It's good to see you. Welcome on in. It's lovely to see you. I'm working but wanted to pop in. I appreciate you popping in. Happy 4th of July. They've split into two groups and it's getting pretty spicy. The bad kind of spicy. I'm sorry, Skelly Pops. That's really tough. That's really tough. I, like, I don't know. Yeah, when when friends don't get along, it's really, really uncomfortable. I, I remember having that situation where, like, 
two of my like closest friends didn't get along and it was super awkward. Airborne is not Airborne Lynx, right? Yeah, yeah, Pyro, Airborne is Airborne Lynx. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy that like Airborne Lynx is still around? Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I know, it's amazing. <laughs> Like eating something spicy and then it burning your booty hole instead spicy. <laughs> well, good, good analogy. Good analogy, Saul. Well played. <gasps> Slava, congratulations on level one. Welcome to the Tentacle Tech RPG. Be sure to check out the panty shop so you can see all the things you can do with your panties and your levels. Exclamation point panty shop and chat. Get in there. <clears throat> I don't really like Natsuki because I hate Sundares. See, I... I am usually not a big Sundare type, but I actually really enjoy Natsuki. Um, I don't like I don't like Yuri because I find I find her pretentious. Anyway, okay, let's see. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Huh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book as always. Uh, uh I I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri, tell Tech to let me borrow some money. That's, don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. I hate her. <laughs> I hate her so much. I don't understand. I think that the only reason that people like her is that because is because she's hot. Like the only reason that people like her is because of her physical appearance. I I don't I don't I don't I think that if people paid attention to her personality, they wouldn't like her. She's so pretentious. It's gross. Uh Did I just I I didn't mean that at all. I got too absorbed into my book. Uh <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. I love your personality. Are you saying that you love my personality as me? Or you love, like, my personalities that I give the characters? Oh, you love Yuri's personality? Oh, yeah, I hate Yuri's personality. <clears throat> you gave her a higher-pitched voice than I would have expected? She's super shy and, like, quiet. So I'm like, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, I'm shy and, 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 and I don't want to talk a lot. Um, it doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's, there's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That! Still, coming from you, Sayori, I guess there's a little devil inside of all of us, isn't there? <laughs> don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but, you wouldn't have come even, you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Oh. Kya! Ow! What was... Huh? A... Uh, a cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie, wrapped in plastic. Siri glances around. I, is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution! I love Sayori, she's so cute. <laughs> Retribution. Actually... That almost worked. <laughs> ah I was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. Not, not Suki. That's so nice of you. I'm so, I'm so happy. Sari hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sari rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Okay, good. <clears throat> Sari suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. <laughs> you, 
You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Oh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? <laughs> Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sari gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez! I get it, I get it! Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Oh? Sari suddenly leans down and takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie. H hey! Did you seriously just do that? Oh, huh. <laughs> Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori... Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the... Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Huh? You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me? Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry. I I'm, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Huh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must have not heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, I don't, really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Tech. Monica smiles sweetly. It's the Monica pose, ladies and gentlemen. The Monica pose. <clears throat> Continuing on. Thank you, Rosie. Appreciate you. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been passing. Wow! Whoa! Incredibly easy. <laughs>
I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischief escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. Time to make 14 alts to join the server. No, Saul. Bad Saul. It looks like everyone is already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Good old Natsuki. It's not long before Natsuki comes up to me expectantly. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I kept my promise. I pull the first volume of Parfait Girls out from my bag. Natsuki takes it from my hands, then quickly turns it over, presumably to check for wrinkles. Hey, I'm not that careless. I handle manga all the time, you know. I just wanted to make sure. Can you blame me for being paranoid? I don't give people my manga every day, you know. That's true. I don't blame you. Well, anyway, let me put this one back. I'm gonna get the next one, okay? Natsuki makes your way to the closet. I follow. So, you're gonna tell me everything you thought, right? Where did this volume leave off again? I forget. Uh, the chapter ended with Minori and Alice found. She's so small. She is very small. Yeah, yeah. Natsuki is, is, is small, small girl, small girl. Monica! Natsuki's voice resonates out from inside the closet. Huh? I peer inside. All of Natsuki's books are lined up on the top shelf. Did you move my manga again? Uh, sorry, sorry. The teacher got mad at me for taking up so much space in her closet. So I had to move some stuff around and clean up a little bit. It's all still there, I just had to organize it a bit. Ugh. The top shelf is far above Natsuki's head. She makes a futile hop trying to figure out how to reach her manga. Jeez, this is so inconvenient. I'm moving these all back down. There's plenty of room on these shelves. And besides, they're really pretty to look at when they're all lined up. Why would you waste that on the top shelf? Ah, Natsuki. <laughs> there's a stool on the wall there. In the closet, there's a collapsible stool that's hanging on the wall. If you want, I can reach up there and hand them to you. I can get them myself. Natsuki grabs the stool from the wall and unfolds it. You think I'm too short or something? I mean, I knew it. Well, you know what? Just watch me. Natsuki hops onto the stool, which ends up being a little wobbly because it's because of its collapsible design. Uh, careful. I know what I'm doing. Standing on the stool, Natsuki's fingertips reach the top shelf. The stool would be enough for me to easily grab the books, but Natsuki is being stubborn as usual. Uh, Natsuki uses her fingers to scoot one of the smaller boxes to the edge of the shelf. See? Kya! The box suddenly tips. Natsuki barely catches it before it falls to the floor. The stool wobbles. Whoa! Losing balance, Natsuki hops off the stool. Thankfully, she was able to stay on her feet. She holds the box triumphantly. Th there! Having almost fell, Natsuki is a bit shaken up. Jeez. No need to prove yourself to me. There's no way you'll be able to get the bigger boxes like that. I can reach them, so just... I said I can do it! I don't want your help, okay? <sighs> I'm gonna get a chair, so just hang on. Natsuki forces her way past me out of the closet. Let's see. The classroom chairs have the desks attached, so they're too inconvenient to fit into the closet. Aha! Natsuki trots over to the teacher's desk, which has a computer chair behind it. She rolls it on its wheels back over to the closet. Ah! It's a little dangerous since the chair swivels and rolls. But I've already learned my lesson, so I keep my mouth shut. Oosh! Natsuki climbs onto the chair, then slowly balances onto her feet. Since she refuses my help, I take a seat with my back against the side of the doorway and simply watch. Aha! There we go. Ooh! New Natsuki image! Alright! Alright! 
See? I can easily do it now. Natsuki grabs a stack of manga and bends down to put it on the shelf below. Whoa! The chair swivels. Natsuki catches herself on the shelf. What are you doing? Can you at least hold the chair steady instead of sitting and doing nothing? Who was it who told me not to help? Yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> I hold the chair while Natsuki reaches back up. I can... I can almost see up her skirt. Gah. I force myself to turn away. Natsuki seriously didn't think this through. Once she realizes, I'll be dead. <sighs> Natsuki wraps her arms around the parfait girl's box set, easily the largest one on the shelf. Oh, heavy. Hey, Tech. I, I don't think I can bend down without falling. Hurry up and take this one. Hey, Crystal, welcome in. It's lovely to see you. Happy fourth. Uh? But then I have to let go of the chair. That's fine. Just for a second. Hurry up! Alright. Let me just stand up. I slowly re release my grip from the chair. What do you mean, stand up? Natsuki looks down at me. Why are you all the way back? Uh, uh. Natsuki looks like she just realized something, but she'll lose her balance if she moves. Natsuki the box. What? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? You pervert! You're trying to look at my my. my... Natsuki's legs shake. I I'm not. I was just. Natsuki, don't try to move. Just give me the box. You you perv! You set me up. Go away. Get out. What? Ooh, dead man. Happy Treason Day, U-N-G-R-A-T-F-U-L Colonials. Hey. Tentac 6 Love. <laughs> Happy Treason Day, Ungrateful Colonials. Thank you so much for the 100 dead man biddies in my slut cup. I really appreciate it. Mmm. Mmm. Nothing tastes better than a little dead man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the 100 biddies, dude. How are you? It's good to see you. What's going on in your life? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'll do it myself. Uh, uh, the chair suddenly swivels beneath Natsuki's feet. Natsuki! Yeah! The scene turns into a chaos in a split second. The chair flies from under Natsuki's feet. Frantically, I try to catch her. The box topples out of our hands and the books go flying. I got you. Crash. Dang, that was a good sound effect. Hey, oh, oh, I'm not bad, thank you. Literally just finished cleaning the entire house. Nice, nice. Cleaning, like, even though, like, it's work, obviously, like, it has some nice, like, what one, once you get it done, it has some nice, like, I don't know, like, feel-good properties, you know? I need to spend my uh, channel points. I have so many. Yeah, it's got pause. We don't really use channel points. We just use the panties. I would turn them off. I would, like, just turn channel points off completely because we use panties if it weren't for the fact that, um... That, pe that, like, non-subs can redeem sub-only emotes. That's the only reason I keep them on. It was a workout? Holy poop. Yeah, you can definitely get your, like, physical exercise in for the day. Hey, Unicorn, welcome back. Okay. The full force of Natsuki's body against mine throws me to the ground. A whole bunch of books pelt me in the face. Natsuki tries to shield herself with her own arms as her face lands straight onto my chest. Oh, my right arm and my back seriously felt the impact. Oh man, it would have been such a cool image to have like like Natsuki like falling on you. That would have been such a good image. Yeah, everybody go, thank you Trash. Everybody go check out Deadman. Deadman streams uh, a bunch of games. Last time they were playing The Room, which is actually one of my favorite games. It's a really, really cool puzzle game. So go check out Deadman, give, give, give Deadman a follow. I'm gonna modify a bunch to get rid of these points. Yeah, the modifications are fun. Slowly, Natsuki comes to her senses. She presses her arms straight into me to prop herself up. Huh? 
Natsuki seems to realize that it's not the floor that's beneath her. Gah! Gross! Gross! Gah! A fist pounds into my chest. Natsuki then hoists herself to her feet. What were you thinking? You sicko! Everything okay over there? I heard a loud noise. Monica suddenly peers in. Monica! See what happens when you put manga on the top shelf? Are you trying to kill your club members or something? Jeez. Oh! Monica pose. Wow. Whoa! Incredibly Wait. Crazy. Oh god! Oh god, I wasn't ready! Oh god! Dance right. break time for my time. subversary. Love ya. Happy subversary. Six months, you just unlocked a new panties. You just unlocked a new pair of panties. Hold on, let me do my, 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 Thank you so much for starting a hype train. Let me do my Monica pose real quick, and then I'll I'll I'll, I'll get I'll get to the hype train. All right, cool. We got the Monica pose. All right, hello, hello everybody. Okay. <clears throat> wow. Oh. Incredibly juicy. Man, thank you for gifting a sub. Appreciate it. Woo! Y'all are working me. Happy Woo. Subiversary, Crystal. Woo! Thank you for the bits, QP. Woo! You make great. me feel Woo. ill like a bad girl. Not Allison. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to Technically Place. How'd you find this place? Where'd you come from? Tell me all about your life story. Welcome on in. So, congrats on level seven. My goodness. My goodness. What a what a sudden a sudden round of hype. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Oh. <clears throat> Thank you for those 69 busting up biddies, QP. Really appreciate that. Good looking out. Good looking out. You want the eggplant? Alright, I'll put on the eggplant hat. Alright. Alexa said timer for 15 minutes. <clears throat> Alright. Y'all have three and a half minutes to uh, hype it up while I while I wear this while I wear this eggplant hat. What does it take uh, to get him in the Gengar hat? Uh, the panty shop. Go to the panty shop, and you can see you can see how to make me put on the the Gengar hat. Sorry, I stopped the story though. No problem. No problem. I, I I love I love me a good hype train. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Uh, do 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 do. So okay, Crystal, welcome back for hacking six months. QP, thank you for gifting a sub to Benja. Deadman, thank you for gifting a sub to Audrey. QP, thank you for the 100 bits. And QP, thank you for the 69 bits. Uh, for anyone who just resubbed or was just gifted a sub, welcome to the Tentacly Place, where we lay on top of each other and touch each other with tentacles, but like, <gasps> lovingly though, but lovingly, but lovingly, but lewd. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please enjoy spamming your tentacles all over Twitch for the next 30 days, and be sure to hop up in the super secret place that nobody knows about by typing in exclamation point discord in chat because that's where all the subby perks happen get in there exclamation point discord get in there welcome on in thank you so heck much i really really heck and appreciate all the all the love thank you so much and heckin heckin crystal you just unlocked a brand new pair of sub panties crystal i need you to talk in chat so i can show off your brand new sub panties get in there Trying to catch up on chat now. Uh, 
Hey, there we go. Hold on, hold on. There's Crystal. Oh, girl! Look at those classic anime blue striped panties. Your booty was made for those panties. Work it, Crystal. Ow! Ow, ow! Get it! Love it. Love it. Congratulations, Crystal. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy. Alright, so let's see. Um. Okay. Did who sit on my face? Oh, oh, Natsuki. You're talking about Natsuki. No, no, no. She, her face fell on my chest. I mean, I guess it could still, but no. Hype train and I'm broke. No! Aw, Skelly Pops, that's okay. Respectfully looks at Crystal's new panties. Your booty is gorgeous. I still have so many points. Ah! I came from heck. Ooh! Not Allison is from heck. Well, welcome in from heck. We, uh, we, m many of us will probably end up in heck because we're, we're, we're pretty, we're pretty naughty beans around here. So, you're, you're, you're with like-minded folk, not Allison. Hey, thank you all for the hype train. Look at look at my new little look at my new little doggo. Look at my new little doggo, so cute. So cute. Thank you for the three subs and two hundred and sixty-nine biddies. I really appreciate it. Thank you everybody. Okay, alright. I'm all caught up on chat. The hype train has concluded. I think that we can get back to the story. Would you have looked up Natsuki's skirt? Ooh, yes, no, other, please say in chat. Ooh, juicy. Juicy. Incredibly juicy. Look at all these respectful beans. Love it. Love a good respectful bean. All right, make sure to use your consenticles, ladies and gentlemen. It's very important. Your consenticles are very important. All right, let's continue the story. Here we go. So sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. It seems like your most recent club member is a total pervert. So I hope you're happy. I didn't... Five of you are liars. Oh, oh, trash is calling out calling the people who said they wouldn't look up Natsuki's skirt out. Oh, dang. Somehow it's impossible for me to explain this whole bizarre situation to Monica. I didn't do anything, I swear. I know, I know. Don't worry. Monica says that quietly to me. Looks like I'm off the hook. Oh, no. My, my... Huh? I'm scared of wearing skirts because of people doing that. Aw, bear hats. That's sad. I look down. Natsuki is kneeling on the floor holding one of the books that are scattered all over. There's a large diagonal crease along the page that she's desperately trying to smooth out. Uh, it must have landed on the page. Natsuki tries a bit more to fix the crease, but she can't get it out. Suddenly, she gives up and slams the book shut, then throws it on the floor. Instead of continuing to, to yell, she just lowers her head. She's crying. She's crying. Natsuki, are you... No? Natsuki's voice squeaks. I see tears on her face. Uh... I'll help get the crease out, okay? It's partially my fault, so... Natsuki shakes her head, still looking down. No. I don't even care that much. I'm just... having a really bad day today. Natsuki sobs again. I didn't mean to take it out on you. I really didn't mean to. It's it, it's fine. Is there anything you want to talk about? Natsuki shakes her head. Just every day is so hard. I just want to 
come to the club and... Natsuki falls silent again. I can't press her, so I can only do what I know how to do. Alright. Well, I'll help clean this up, and I'll move the rest of your manga for you. Uh, I pick up volume two of Parfait Girls. We'll set this one aside. This will help cheer you up a bit, right? We can get started on it once I'm done here. Natsuki looks up with her glossy eyes. Her lip quivers. You're... You're really nice to me. Huh? That sounds really strange coming from Natsuki. I didn't expect it at all. Well, I'm just treating you like a friend, you know? Mm. Natsuki lowers her head and stifles another sob. I'm not sure what happened to her today, but being nice is the least I could do. The next couple minutes are silent between us as I begin gathering the, scat the scattered books. I make sure to slip them into the box uh, in their correct order. After a little bit, Natsuki starts helping. It isn't long before we're done and I hoist the box onto the shelf where Natsuki wanted to put it. Then I get on the stool and quickly finish moving the rest of her books from the top shelf. All right, that should do it. I hop off the stool. Natsuki averts her gaze. Th thanks. <laughs> it's nothing. Natsuki is holding the volume I set aside in her hands. All right, I'm ready. Good. Even if you weren't, I'd make you anyway. You're taking responsibility for what you said. The thing about cheering me up. I would accidentally... I, I would look up the skirt by accident and probably make a joke or give a compliment to Natsuki. Nice. Nice, Saul. If you insist. We sit in the same spot as last time, and I open the second volume. Natsuki's mood quickly improves, laughing and pointing things out to me. She's surprisingly sharp, making note of a lot of subtle, repeated jokes and background elements. In the end, I'm pretty impressed by how everything ties together in this manga. Manga. I guess Natsuki has good taste after all. After some time, Monica gets our attention as usual, and it's time to share poems again. Guess I'll be holding on to this for now. Yep. Even, uh, even you sound more enthusiastic this time. Oh god. My throat is dry. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm starting to get into it, you know? <laughs> Told ya. Yeah, yeah. I return to my seat and slip the book into my bag. Who should I show my poem to first? All right, ladies and gents, tentacles and panties. It's time for the universe of poles to return to us. Who should we, which, which girl, which girl we have? Hold on, I'm just gonna list them in the same order that they're listed here. We have Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, or Monica, okay? And vote it up. Look up at the top of your chat where it says which girl and cast your vote, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like Yuri and Monica have the have the largest votes so far. Yuri with three, Monica with three. Yuri with four. Yuri is currently in the lead. Uh-oh, five for Yuri. Whoa. Whoa. We've been pursuing Natsuki this whole time. All of a sudden, Yuri is taking a lead? What is going on here? Monica looks to be the only one who could catch up with Yuri with three votes, but it's still like Monica would need four votes to pass up Yuri here. All right, it looks like Yuri it is. Hey, before we get started on those poems, it's time for a quick self-care break. Once every hour on the hour here at the Tentacly Place, we get up, we stretch, we do some yoga, we, you know, work out with Coach Tentacle, we get a snack, we go to the bathroom, all that good stuff. It's just good for your body. So get up, stretch, do all the things, uh, behave yourselves while I'm gone. You know who you are. No naughty business. And I'll be right heckin' back, okay?
All right, so I I was just I was just minding my own business, going going to the bathroom. I I was just planning to I was just planning to go to the bathroom, and then and then Birdie tells me that she got this a sloppy burger rah, 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 and Frenchy fries. Good old Frenchy fries. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited. I have to, I have to figure out, um, I have to figure out exactly how I'm gonna actually eat this. Um, cause it's, hold on, let me, just, just give me a second. Yeah, mmm, burger. Yeah, just give me a second to, just give me a second to arrange myself here. Cause, uh, they, they definitely made it, um, they, they, they gave me a lot of mushrooms and onions, which is great, I love mushrooms and onions, but, it, it just makes it a little bit more difficult to arrange, so hold on. Okay, and then I need just a little bit, uh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so we're gonna take a tomato, we're gonna take a, t a, c a few, um, a few, uh, red onions? Purple? Red? What is it, what are they called? A little bit of lettuce. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, and we're gonna slop that right on top. And then we have a nice juicy wait hold on let's let's take some of this out there we go there we go just let that slop out real quick all right here we go you ready y'all ready mmm mmm juicy boy juicy boy right there oh yeah oh that's gonna be a good bite here we go mmm mmm Are we gonna do a public eating stream? Is it food time? Should we watch should we watch food YouTube videos while while I eat? I was about to cook crab legs, but now you're making me want a burger? Oh yeah. Mmm. 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 I'm legit gonna try a food time. I've never done one before. I'm trying to think of a good, let's see, let's try, um, Oh wait, is this only 15 seconds? No, this is the ad. The ad is only 15 seconds long. I was like, is this video only 15 seconds long? I'm Chef Tom. I got a bunch of vegetable left over in my fridge. So I make a quick vegetable stir fry. Some vegetable cooking oil. I'm gonna add some gojujang. Hold on. Korean sriracha paste. <laughs> Spicy, got a lot of flavor. Ginger and garlic. Goju, I'm gonna take a little bit to uh, dissolve. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Stir fry the mint, ginger, and garlic until aromatic. I have my uh, frying pan in high heat. Okay, now we're just gonna put in all the vegetables that left over. I got some uh, Russell sprout, celery, stem, will be a good one, keep you a lot of flavor. I got some bell pepper and string bean. The string bean I cut it in half. You can tell it's uh, almost way out, cut it in half. I got some zucchini. 
smell good already. Simple stir fry, very healthy. Stir, stir, stir. In this frying pan, the shrimp bean probably take a little longer to uh, cook, but it's okay. I'm just trying to save some time. Otherwise, you just have to uh, blanch the string bean. Soften up a little bit. Look at this one. <laughs> and I have uh, rice cooking right now, sticky rice. Very fresh. When you stir fry vegetable with a high heat, you don't have the water coming out, you know? They evaporate all the nice juice. And vegetable have really nice flavor. Oh, look at this. Got a little sticker. Take it out. Mm, got very amazing smell. Mm, very nice. I'm just gonna keep stir fry. I want all the flavor combined together. Just like this. Alright. We're gonna add some poison sauce. Poison sauce is my little sweet flavor. Got a nice enhanced flavor. Like that. And then I'm just gonna add light sodium soy sauce. Just go around like this. Go around. Lightly. You want to add some sesame seed, go right here. Sesame seed, huh? Like that. How dare you bring that up right now, Rosie? How dare you bring up broccoli? 15 minutes meal. If you like to add some water, go right here. Now to soften the vegetable. I'm not gonna add water, but just let you know, if you wanna add some water, it's okay. I'm just gonna make them really nice and crispy, vegetable, delicious. Welcome in, Benja. Like that. Oh yeah. See that? You make me feel, feel like a bad girl. Put this in the middle. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, nice heat. See the caramelization on that uh, zucchini? Beautiful. Thank you very much for the follow. What is your name? Armando Kelly Toy Sonic Movie. Oh, hi. Benja, thank you very much for the follow. Sauce. Welcome in. How'd you find this place? Where'd you come from? Tell me all about your life story. Go, go to Jiang is just for the flavor. You know, you always experiment. Just try out different flavor. See how you like it. I like everything. The song tastes good. If I can eat this for two days, I will lose three to five pounds. <laughs> Okay, I think that's as good. What and welcome to my you? candy shop. Noodle could have that flavors on your lips. Say, come on, add a going on a bubble tea trip. Oh, yeah. Alyssa, welcome in. Thank you so much. Appreciate ya. Thank you for the panty raid. More sesame seeds? Look at that, huh? And welcome to my candy shop. Noodle could have that flavors on your lips. Thank you, Crystal. I can eat this every day. So healthy. I hope you like the video. I'm here, Tom. Thank you for watching. Happy New Year. Bye. That looks delicious. I would totally eat that. Stir fry is such a hack. Because, like, it's so easy, but it's so good. It's so yummy.
Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, cool. Huh? 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 All right. Who did we end up voting on? Oh, it was Yuri, right? Which I was super surprised about because we hate Yuri. <clears throat> right? We had chosen Yuri. Let me get back to let me get back to the Doki Doki category. Hold on. There we go. We love Yuri. Oh, you mean the character. Wait, what does Yuri mean not in Doki Doki? Let's see what you've written for today. Mmm. Well done, Tech. Your skills are already improving. Really? Thanks, Yuri. Coming from you, that means a lot. Huh? It, it's nothing. I'm just happy to help inspire fellow writers. I know you're new to this, so don't worry so much if it seems like you can't get your poem to feel perfect. Yuri is the opposite of yao, ya, yaoi. I don't know what that is either. BBQ pizza with chicken, jalapenos, mixed peppers, plus garlic bread and chicken strippers? My goodness. My goodness gracious. Yuri is a little crazy. Shh, 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 shh. Benja, no spoilers, no spoilers. Okay. Um, you don't need to be afraid to be a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like uh, turning a bunch of gears. Try letting your mind wander through your feelings and write down the things you see in here. Yaoi gay, Yuri equals lesbian. Oh. Interesting. That's interesting that they named her Yuri then. Did you bring some for the whole class? Alyssa, everyone who like just came in, I feel like I didn't get to properly greet you, but like Alyssa, uh, Benja, Armando, Kelly, Toy, Sonic Movie. Hi, welcome in. How are y'all? That's one way to truly enable your reader to see into your mind. It's a very intimate exercise. I see. That's certainly an interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I have, um, well, an example of that if you'd like to read it. Of course. Is this the poem you wrote for today? Yuri nods and timidly hands me her poem. The Raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of my bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences, well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread was uh, the bread my hungry curiosity, the raccoon urge. The moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft, the raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm really projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic... Pavlo Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread, and I feed myself again. Ooh, juicy. So I'll have a good lurk. Thank you. Mmm, 
Rosie, congratulations on level 30. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style, using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. Ooh. Thanks for raising our TPM, Benj. I appreciate that. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's those sort of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself, so I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Be because they're embarrassing and people would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, Tack? Well, yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities, even if it's difficult sometimes and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I, I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. All right, who's up next, y'all? Sayori, Natsuki, or Monica? Poll time. Which girl next? Sayori, Natsuki, or Monica? And go. Go, 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 go. Monica in first place with three votes. Sayori with two. Monica takes the lead with four votes. Do you write a poem every day in the game? Um, the game shifts over time, Alyssa. Monica it is. Hi again, Tech. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon, you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. All right. It's pretty good. You've been spending some time with Natsuki, haven't you? See? Again, Monica gives us a clue as to who we leaned toward most on our poem. We know that we lean more, m most toward Natsuki. But if we hadn't counted, now we would know. You must like her writing style. Uh, yeah. I think it's a neat way to tell a story. Mm-hmm. I don't disagree. Natsuki's poems may be cute, but they're also meaningful. I can see why you'd be into the style. I guess that means you're not as much of a fan of Yuri's poems, then. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I kind of like everyone's poems. That's true, but I'm sure you like some more than others, right? like Yuri's use of complex words and symbolism, or Sayori's way of expressing happiness or sadness in a more direct way. You must have some kind of preference, don't you? Not that it's a contest or anything. I was just curious, that's all. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? 
I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust, an endless poem of meaningless. Load me. Load me. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? Oh, Monica Bose! Monica Bose! Hold on. Alright. Continuing on. Continuing on! <clears throat> Tech has now done Monica Bose 13 times. Need some water. Incredibly juicy. Oh, hey, Cupy! Thank you so much for gifting yet another sub. Azim, welcome back to the tentacly place where we heck and lay on top of each other and touch each other with tentacles, but like lovingly though, below, but lovingly. But loot. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, QB, for that gift sub. I really appreciate it. Ozim, if you are here, please enjoy spamming your tentacles all over Twitch for the next 30 days. And be sure to hop up in the super secret place that nobody knows about by typing in exclamation point discord and chat. Because that's where all the subby perks happen. Everybody's welcome in there, by the way. Hop up in there. Exclamation point discord. Okay. I guess it's just the way that I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just a kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines, really short, makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. Thanks for the subscription level one, it's great. Ah, Benj, I'm glad, I'm glad that you're enjoying it. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about though. Uh -huh. Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. All right, everybody. Are y'all ready for Monica's writing tip of the day? Um, actually, technically, none of you know as much as Monica because she gives writing tips of the day. Do you give writing tips of the day? I didn't think so, so. Ow. I finished my burger and fries. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. I'm gonna save. Spoopy. Spoopy. <clears throat> uh, uh, uh. Alright. Wait, is this tip about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today.
Thanks for listening. All right. Sayori or Natsuki? 50-50 shot. Which girl? Sayori, Natsuki. Go. Hopefully the time is still correct on it. I can't remember. I've been lurking for about an hour or so. Did someone die? No one has died. Alexa, turn on the lights. Thank you. Y'all are saving Natsuki for last. Very interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sus. I'm very sus. What's going on here, huh? Huh? What's going on here, you little tentacles? What are you up to? You have a plan, huh? Did you all get together and coordinate a little plan, huh? Did you all go to a little tentacle, a little tentacle meeting? Make a little plan, huh? All right, Sayori it is. Oh! I like this one, Tech. It has some nice feelings in it. I'm glad. The truth is, I don't even speak English, but I find you very entertaining. Oh, well, thank you, dude. And it looks like you speak English very well, Benja. I don't, I, I, you, you, you could have fooled me. You could have fooled me. I'm glad that, I'm glad that you enjoy the stream, dude. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Hmm, let me think. I don't know. I guess I like them both. <laughs> That's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad, but that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is pretty important, is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah. Me neither. Ugh. Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Uh, you want... You... Uh, uh, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. <clears throat> you need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Uh-huh. Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Hmm, sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug. And make a nice happy rainbow. Sayori is so heckin' cute, oh my god. Sayori, that's unexpectedly poetic. Hey, Benja, congratulations on level one. Welcome to the Tentacle Tech RPG. Be sure to check out the Panty Shop so you can see all the things you can do with your panties and your levels. Exclamation point, Panty Shop and chat. A good poem full of feelings. Nice. <laughs> all right, everybody. We're gonna have to have a, we're gonna have to have a, a Doki Doki Literature Club poetry writing. Everybody, everybody has to, has to write a poem and then we'll, we'll exchange them. We gotta do it. Huh? It is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Tech. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly. But there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. 
and I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and bottles all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends, each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way, down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams, friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies, digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally all done, I open up, and in come my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Remember me? Remember when I said I didn't have DDLC Plus? Well, I got it yesterday. Hey, nice. Well done, dude, well done. I'm excited, I'm excited for you. Oh man, this poem, this poem hurts. This poem like hits hard, ow, ow my heart, my heart, ow, oh god, oh, oh. Holy crap. Sorry, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Ah, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little better. Four times in one day? That that does seem a little crazy. It's, it's fitting for your username. Hey, congrats on level one, the crazy one. Welcome to the Tentacle Tech RPG. Be sure to check out the panty shop so you can see all the things you can do with your panties and your levels. Exclamation point panty shop and chat. Check it out. All right, let me see. Um, writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah, writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. Sari's always had a bad habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping, uh, before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Alright, last one, Natsuki. Hmm. Natsuki reads my poem. She keeps glancing at me, then back at the poem. By now, she must have read it more than once. Uh, is it that bad? No, no, it's not. It's good, it's really good, okay? There, I said it. Ugh, this wasn't supposed to happen at all. Why can't you just be bad at this? My poems are supposed to impress you, not the other way around. You're trying to impress me? Obviously, you think I'd let you enjoy Yuri's writing more than mine? Give me a break. Well, in that case, what's the problem with me trying to impress you? I'll tell you, you... Natsuki face, Natsuki's face freezes like she just realized something. You, you, you... You're trying to... Impress me? Natsuki vigorously scans her eyes over, the, over my poem one more time. Then the poem slips out of her hands and flutters to the floor. I... Have to use the bathroom. 
Red-faced Natsuki quickly walks out of the room. Hey, Tech. Did you do something to Natsuki? I just saw her rush out like that. You didn't do anything terrible, did you? N no I just told her that... My voice gets caught in my throat. There's no way I could tell Monica that I'm trying to impress Natsuki. Hmm? Monica sees the poem lying on the floor and swiftly picks it up. She skims over it a second time, her smile not fading from her face. I see. At first, I just thought you liked her writing style. But you wrote this for Natsuki, didn't you? I... I mean... Not really. In fact, didn't she like your poem a lot the other day, too? I'm surprised you know her taste so well already. Are you sure you're not cheating, Tech? Hey, Slava, congrats on level two. There it is. Cheating? What do you mean by that? Never mind, I'm just kidding. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, Monica post time! There's your Monica pose. Hope you enjoy it. Wow. Incredibly juicy. You know, QP, you're not, uh, you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't happen to be gifting a sub Every time I do the Monica pose, would you? That's not what's happening here, is it? Huh? You wouldn't- you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that, would you, Cupie? No. No, 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 no. Definitely not. Definitely not. Cupie, thank you so much for that heckin' gift sub to the crazy one. The crazy one, welcome to the tentacly place where we lay on top of each other and touch each other with tentacles, but like, <gasps> lovingly though. But a little loot. But lovingly. But loot. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please enjoy spamming your tentacles all over Twitch for the next 30 days, and be sure to hop up in the super secret place that nobody knows about by typing in exclamation point discord in chat. Get in there, exclamation point discord. Everyone, get in there. We're trying to get to 400. We're like, I don't know. I don't know how many away we are now, but we were like 19 away at the start of stream. So heckin' get in there, do it. Thank you so much, QP. Incredibly generous, dude, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Is it your first time playing Doki Doki? No, it is not. It is not. I've played it many a time. It is my first time playing Doki Doki Plus, though. Did he catch you, Cupy? Yes, Bowser. <laughs> Alright, back to the game. <clears throat> Never mind, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't understand Monica's joke at all. Anyway. And now he caught me, I have to stop. But... But... Oh, red alert, we're going to horny jail, ladies and gentlemen. Horny jail, here we go. <clears throat> All right, for the next minute, y'all can bonk me with bits of five or more. Bonk tech in horny jail with bits of five or more, ladies and gentlemen. Well, here we are in horny jail. Another day, another horny jail. I was just sitting there, minding my own business. Little did I know what was about to happen that day. It was going to be an epic day, full of horny jails and Monica Pose gift subs. That was just another day in my life. Life. Of tentacle tech. I was trying to go for like a film noir thing. Did y'all did y'all get it? Did y'all get the vibe? Did y'all feel the, the 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 film noir vibe? You know, like black and white, like a guy described, like it's like rainy outside of like a cafe. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about, right? Come on, somebody somebody's got to understand this, right? Jumping jacks. I don't think you have enough panties. I don't think you have. You gotta check your panties. How many panties do you have? If you'd like to get some more panties, you can. You can get more panties by subscribing to my YouTube or signing up for my newsletter. Either one will give you 50 panties. Just let me know that you do it. Ooh, pink bunny ears. Okay. Okay.
How do you check your panties? Exclamation point panties in chat. Pink bunny ears. You got it. Okay. Out of horny jail we come. Alright. Back to the game. Oh, God. Alright. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. Alright, here we go. Anyway, how do you think Natsuki feels about you? Oh, you don't need to answer that. It was just something for you to think about. Yeah, crazy one. Like I said, if you'd like to get additional panties, you can subscribe to my YouTube. Just type in exclamation point YouTube. Or you can sign up for the newsletter. Just type in exclamation point newsletter. Um, and uh, let me know if you do either one of those, and I'll give you 50 panties apiece. So you can get 100 panties if you subscribe to my YouTube and sign up for the newsletter. Hey! Natsuki comes up and snatches the palm out of Monica's hands. Neither of us had noticed her re-enter the classroom. Did you read this, Monica? Of course. I liked it. Ugh. You should really stop reading things that aren't for you, you know. You have a bad habit of doing that. Huh? But Tech wrote this poem. And we're supposed to share with everyone, right? Uh. Natsuki freezes. She apparently forgot that my poem is technically for everyone to read. Okay, well, I think Tech is done sharing this poem with everyone. It's not like anyone would want to read this anyway. In fact, I'm just going to hold on to this. If you insist. Oh, it's a Monica pose. With pink bunny ears, by the way. Fifteen, my goodness. My fifteen Monica poses. I'm not looking to offend you or anything, but I was wondering if you were gay. That's not offensive, no. I'm uh, I'm heteroflexible is how I identify. So I uh, I like women, I'm married to a woman, I'm not really interested in dating men, but there are certain sexual aspects about men that I find appealing. So what where are you in the in the in the queer family, Benja? If you are in the queer family. You make me feel, feel Ooh, hi. Hey, it's Miss, it's Miss Sally. It's Sally. Sally, hi. It's so good to see you, Sally. Welcome in. How are you? How'd you find this place? Where'd you come from? Tell me all about your life story. Welcome on in. <clears throat> How do you make websites? Uh, I use a, I use a, a site called MailChimp, um, which is very unusual. Most people do not use a site called MailChimp, but I use a site called called MailChimp, and I really like it for for building stuff, for building my newsletter and my website and all that jazz. So uh, I like it, but it's not uh, it's not what most people use. You can call me Sally, Sal Lee, or Susie. IDK, where I got the Susie from, though. Interesting, interesting. All right, Sally, it is. Oh no, this is so sad. I really, I really did ruin, I really did ruin the magic for Cupy. I feel, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. <laughs> All right, let's see here. If you insist. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Ugh, never mind. Well, I guess Natsuki has my poem now. Not that I really planned on keeping it. Anyway, read my poem now. And no, I won't let you keep it. This is my only copy. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her sing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? 
That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Hmm. I don't think that, uh, I don't think that Natsuki likes spiders. Am I, uh, is that, is that just me? Is that just me? Agreed, Slava! <laughs> I'll see you around, Benja. You have a good day. Alright, let's see. Aw, Sally loves spiders. Aw. I, I, I don't I don't have a big problem with spiders. I think spiders are good. Spiders kill all the bugs that I don't want around, you know? Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Benja, be sure to hop up in the Discord if you haven't already, okay? No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies, and it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like, anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course. It's about how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter. It can be about anything. I saw a spider in my house yesterday, and my mom sadly killed it. Aww, bummer. Bummer. I usually try to, like, if, if Birdie needs me, Birdie is my wife, if Birdie needs me to, like, get rid of a spider, I will, uh, I'll get, like, a cup and a newspaper and try to put it outside. Okay. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out they'd make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy? Big true. Big true, Natsuki. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Mmm. Mmm. Kink. Kink. Alright. Huh. That's funny. Yuri wrote about something similar today. Huh? Did you say Yuri? Yeah. She said her poem was about an unusual hobby of hers. I didn't really get it, but she said something similar to you. That people should make each other feel... That people shouldn't make each other feel insecure about those things. Really? Well, I mean, Yuri's pretty weird, so... I wouldn't doubt that she has some weird hobbies. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's not like I would judge her or anything. Natsuki has trouble finding words. I... I guess I should try not to be so mean to her. If she feels insecure about her weird behaviors and stuff. I mean, I always hate people who make me feel insecure. And Yuri made me feel insecure yesterday. But the way you put it, it sounds like she's learned her lesson. Well, I would say so. Even if her writing style is really different, I'm sure she'll appreciate the message in your poem. You know, I'm glad you can appreciate this kind of writing. I mean, I know I was talking about that yesterday, but I've been, well, I've been enjoying sharing my writing with you, so, so consider yourself lucky, okay? <laughs> well, thanks for being honest. What's that supposed to mean? I'm always honest. Jeez. Just look forward to, more, to, to tomorrow too, okay? Alright, I will. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the you festival? Make me feel, feel like a bad girl. Jacob Metal Daxon. Thank you so much for the follow. How'd you find this place? Where'd you come from? Tell me all about your life story. Thanks for making me feel like a bad girl. Appreciate you, Jacob. Welcome on in. Um, it's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last-minute preparations. 
Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sarah has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? Poop. Um, Monica? Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sayori is putting it all on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Ehe. <laughs> Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't... You didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Uh, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea, but I didn't sign up for this, you know? There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I just found you while streaming the brand new DDLC Plus. My name is Jacob. Hello there. I joined Twitch instead of YouTube. Cool, dude. Cool. That's awesome. Well, welcome in. Yeah, uh... Yeah, I, I really you love Dolly. Oh, hey! Like a Moises? Moises, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the heck and follow. Welcome to the Tentacle Place. How would you find this place? Where did you come from? Tell me all about your life story. Welcome on in. That's for making me feel like a bad girl. Um, yeah, Doki Doki Literature Club is one of my like favorite games of all time. So when the Plus version came out, I was like, all right, I gotta, I gotta stream this. I gotta stream this. I joined Twitch instead of YouTube. I'm not sure what that means, Jacob. Hi, Moises. Welcome in. How are you? All right, let's see. Um, I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never, in my life, do something like that. In my life. Ugh, I hate her. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. I'm a part-time Twitch streamer? That's awesome, dude. That's really cool. Guys... No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. Whoever falls, I'm gonna say hello. I, I noticed that, Sally. I appreciate that. That's like, that's like big, that's like big mod energy, to be honest. It's a lot to ask them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that, so I'm sorry. But I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah. It's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. That's your sub badge, crazy one. <clears throat> Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sari looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. Big Sag. Big Sag. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. I'm using the translator, so if I misspell, I'm sorry. But anyway, how are you? Oh! Whoa, that's really cool! Moises, what, what, is, your, what is your native language? What do you mean sub badge? So crazy one, you were gifted a sub. So because because you are a sub, you get a sub badge. 
you get a little a little badge that shows that you're subscribed to the channel next to your name. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. All right. Oh, I have to go. Bye-bye. All right, I'll see you around, Sally. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, Sally, if you'd like to stay in touch, hop up in the Discord, okay? We love to have the community in the Discord. It's, it's sort of the home of the community, so get in there. I listen to hard rock and metal music. That makes sense. Metal is in your name. That makes sense. Alexa, stop. Yellow is the best color. Is it? Is it? Is yellow the best color? Or is purple the best color? Is it clip time? I love how much you love all my other segments, Unicorn. You're always in here asking about, like, the clip tournament or meme review. It's, it, it's, it's exciting how much you like the other segments. I speak Portuguese. I'm Bra Brazilian. Wow, that's super cool. That's awesome. Yellow and purple do look good together, but yellow is the superior color. Oh, really, QP? I think that I'm going to need I think that I'm going to need proof that that yellow and purple look good together. All right. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. <sighs> I I guess I really don't have a choice. Aha! That's everyone! You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh, gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No, n n no way! Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can recite your poem in front of the club, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? <clears throat> Wait, it says because I'm subbed, I don't get uh, ads watching your stream? That's correct. That's correct. Oh no. Don't worry. I'll, s I'll start off uh, to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now, let's see. I found a new appreciation for yellow recently, but I agree with QP. Those colors are nice together, similar with bright green and purple. I need art! I need art to prove it! Alright. <clears throat> now, let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. <clears throat> Monica be begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. Where am I from? I am. Uh, I was raised and born in Cal California, and then uh, I now reside in Kentucky. But I'm I'm in the United States. Green and pink is the best combo. Once again, once again, prove it. I joined your Discord server already. Thank you, Jacob. I appreciate that. We're we're trying we're trying really hard to to get to 400. So I appreciate you hopping up in there. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finish the, finishes the recitation. I like pink with purple and white, uh, but I don't have a favorite color, just combinations I like together. I think it's, it's the concept of a favorite color is interesting because it's, it's, sort of like, it's sort of like geometry. Like geometry is all about like straight lines, but straight lines don't actually exist in, in real life, so it just doesn't seem relevant, you know what I mean? So like, similarly, the concept of a favorite color is like, choose a color that is your favorite bereft of any kind of context. But like, w what application does that have really, you know? I guess in brand building. Why does it say my name on your screen? Same reason, because you're the most recent sub. Dude, you're so handsome, oh my god, thank you, I appreciate it. Oh my, hello. 
Hi. 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 Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Hello. Thank you. Oh. Oh, it's Lilith's move. Hello. Well, again, hello. Hi, Lilith's move. Hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into the horror genre. Cool, Jacob. That's awesome. That's awesome. Green is my favorite color. Ooh, ooh. I never would have guessed, Bear Hats. Yellow symbolizes hope and a brighter future to me. Aw, that's beautiful, Cupie. I love that. I love that. Like, if we're talking about color schemes, I would, uh, like in a reading room, it would be a dark forest green with cherry wood accents. Totally, yeah. I'm totally with that from. Oh, I think I'm in love again. I got the just Monica every time I finish the game. Crazy one, let's not let's not talk about let's not talk about the like the results or like things that happen later in the game than what we're already in. Because while I have an understanding of what goes on during this game, because I've played it before, there are others in chat that might not, and it might ruin the experience for them, okay? How many Monica poses have we done so far? I think we're on like 13 or 14, something. 15. Okay, 15. 15. Oh no, you're all you're all good, crazy one. I just want to let you know. I just want to let you know. <clears throat> yeah, we're on 15. I QP was doing something super cute, but I ruined it because I'm because I'm a I'm a I'm a naughty tentacle. Alright. Finally Monica finishes the recitation. Oh wait, I want to sing a song. Can I sing y'all a song? Hey, hey, um, hey, hey everybody, hey everybody, is it okay? Is it okay if I, if I sing you a song? Can I sing you a song? Real quick? How old are you? You look 17. I'm 26. I'm just gonna keep doing this until until somebody answers. Yeah, sure, sing a song. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, all right, you ready? <clears throat> uh. No animal, no man can scream like I can with the fury of my recitations. Okay, that's all. That's all I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to do because because they said re recitations, and so I wanted to I wanted to do that. <clears throat> <clears throat> And since I am dead, I can take off my head to recite Shakespearean quotations. No animal, no man can scream like I can with the fury of my recitations. All right, all right. <clears throat> the four of us applaud. <laughs> Monica takes a breath and smiles. That, that was so good, Monica. Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I, I'll go next. Thank you for all the applause, everybody. What? Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It... It's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, oh sorry, just a moment ago she practically refused to do, th to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she's bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterward and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were so off, we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. Hey, crazy one, congrats on level two. 
As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. Sari hops up out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the poem. You sing so well, I'm crying with emotion. Oh, just wait till you hear me sing, uh, just wait till you hear me sing, uh, Feed Me Seymour. You ready? You ready? Here we go. All right, another, another song break. Here we go. <clears throat> feed me Seymour. Feed me all night long. That's right, boy. You can do it. Feed me Seymour. Feed me all night long. <laughs> Cause if you feed me Seymour, I can grow up big and strong. Alright, that's all. <clears throat> Continuing on. We'll see. <laughs> thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, little shop of horrors for the win. You didn't have nothing till you had me. Come on, kid, what'll it be? Money? Girls? One particular girl? How about that, Audrey? Think it over. There must be someone you can 86, real quiet like, and get me some lunch. I'd like a room with a Ritz, wrapped in velvet, covered in glitz. A little nookie gonna clean up your zits, and you'll get it, get it, get it. Alright, <clears throat> anyway. You're so your family will just be sitting at the dinner table and someone will say something and then everyone will break out into the song in reference to what she said. <laughs> we're a real life, we're a real life musical. Ariana Grande is jealous now. Oh, I love Ariana Grande. Oh, yeah. Oh, her song God, God is a Woman is just like... Uh, uh, uh. Okay, all right. Hey, Saul, welcome back. This one's called My Meadow. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori, it's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. I never left, but now I'm leaving! Well, fine! Get out of here, you stupid, dumb animal! Can't you see I don't want you here anymore? Alright, <clears throat> anyway. Let's see. If I, if I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it, but hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Man, I need to go out. It was great talking to you. Bye. All right, Moises, it was great to meet you. Hey, if you'd like to stay connected, be sure to hop up in the Discord so that we can stay connected, okay? Gotta do something that gave me lots of exposure, so enjoy stream. Interesting sentence. Very interesting sentence. Ah, uh, Cupid, thank you for the clip. I appreciate it. It's almost time for the clip tournament, y'all. It's almost time. All right, uh, let's see. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. He even tech liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? I joined the Discord? Yes, got him! All right. It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Huh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> then next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenge you is, challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay! Now, who's next? Natsuki? Ooh, Pyro, congratulations on level 23. 
Hmm. Don't make me go before tech. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let tech lower everyone's standards a little bit before I have to do it. Wow! Wow, Natsuki! Wow! That's rude! <laughs> Natsuki! It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. There's our girls. Look at our girls, they're so pretty. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really good as everyone el as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. All right, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. <laughs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You'd better not make me do that again. Uh, well... Do you feel at least prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. Crystal, congrats on level 22. I'll see you around, Saul. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. Is this Natsuki's side story? I think so, yeah, Cupcake. I think we're going down Natsuki's side story. It's good to see you, Cupcake Potato. Welcome on in. Oh, Monica Pose. It makes me really happy. All right, hold on. Monica Pose. I don't know why I always open my mouth. Like, she doesn't open her mouth, but I always do. Anyway. All right, there we go. Good old Monica Pose. <clears throat> Hey, Moises, congrats on level one. Welcome to the Tentacle Tech RPG. Be sure to check out the panty shops. You can see all the things you can do with your panties and your levels. Exclamation point, panty shop, and chat. Ooh, Monica, Natsuki, Sayori, Yuri, or me, I'm amazing. <laughs> Follow Tentacle Tech, or a squid will swallow you next time you go to the beach. Don't risk it. Ooh, dang, threats. Threats. It looks like Natsuki is winning it. I would love me, I'm amazing to win it, because that would mean we have a we have a confident chat, you know? That'd make me happy. Alright. Uh yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming out, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. I would put me, I'm amazing, but I love Natsuki too much. Ah, I love that. Hey, what's up, Letty Saurus? It's good to see you. Welcome in. How are you? How have your streams been going? I gotta get going, have a good rest of stream. I'll see you around, Pyro. I, I think that you might be going to stream as well. Have a great stream. 
I am best girl, gender neutral. Mm. <laughs> Way to go, Bear Hats. I'm good, streams are good. How are you? I'm doing really well. I'm doing really well, Letty. I this is like one of my favorite games of all time. So I was really excited for the for the plus content to come out. It's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica. Then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Ooh, Monica pose. All right. Gotta, gotta stay committed, you know? Gotta stay committed to my Monica pose every time. Haven't played it. I've only seen small amount of gameplay, but none of the trigger warning stuff. Uh, I don't think that we'll get to the trigger warning stuff today. So I think, I think you're all good. I think you're all good. <clears throat> but it's a really, really good game. Um, the way that they capture, the thing that I like most about it, a lot of people like the, the like horror concepts of it a lot. But the thing that I actually like most about it is the way that they capture certain concepts like, um, like depression and things like that. I think that they do a really, really amazing job sort of like, in, in the writing of the game, sort of illustrating that. <clears throat> all the cute girls, all the cute girls, Cupcake Potato. <laughs> you're a cute girl, you're a cute girl, we're all cute girls! All right, it's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well. Oh, I'm good. I can watch it. I just haven't seen that part. Uh, and that's good that the writing is good. Yeah, for sure. I, I'm i cute. Yes, you are, Saba Kitty. Yes, you are. Hey, for anyone who's new here, we have a mission statement. If you type in exclamation point mission statement, you can see that it says, seeking to provide content in a lewdly wholesome space that helps to improve physical and mental confidence while normalizing sexuality and fighting against the celebration of violence. That's sort of what I try to like put out into the world and that's sort of like what our community is all like, like sort of centered around. So um, that's, that's me, welcome in. Okay, continuing on. We're lewd, not rude. That's right, that's right, Cupcake Potato. Well remembered, well remembered. I love your eggplants. Oh, are you talking about pubert? Oh, all right, Lettisaur. Just because, just because you brought it up, just because you brought it up, I have to introduce you to Pubert. So, so that that's that's Pubert down there, and then up there, that's Pubert Senior. Okay. So, um, uh, Pubert is actually our sex education expert. Um, do you have a do you have a like a like a sex a sex ed question? Anybody have a sex ed question that Pubert could answer? I'll do it. I'll do it free for for Letty, just because. Just because she she no, she she noticed my eggplants, you know, I, I I always feel honored when people notice my eggplant. Crazy one, um, I have a question. Are you twelve? I I'm starting to think that you might be twelve. I can't think of anything. Hmm, maybe I can just give like a general, like a general, a general message. Hmm, what general message can I give? Okay, I got one. I got one. <clears throat> Here we go. Hi everybody, Pubert here, your sex education expert. Today, I'm here to give a general message of sex positivity. Lots of people feel shame about sex because it's been suppressed in our culture for so long. But the truth is, there's absolutely nothing wrong with sex. It's perfectly natural. And the same is true about moon cycles. Lots of people have moon cycles and it's a perfectly natural part of, of the body's process. So. You shouldn't shame people for having moon cycles. In fact, we should work to normalize it. That's why in this stream, we have a moon cycle fund where people can contribute to it. And then we send those funds to people who need help 
in the community with their moon cycles. Type in exclamation point moon cycle today. Yeah. This has been a message from Pubert, your sex education expert. I hope you've enjoyed. All right. That is, that, that, that's Pubert, our sex education expert. I love that voice. Thank you, Slava. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Exclamation point moon cycle in chat. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you. All right. So we already have like, we already have almost $50 in that moon cycle fund. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing actually. Um, how like the, the community is, is like supporting each other. It's really, 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 really heckin' cool. <clears throat> how am I supposed to respond to that? Yeah, uh, Moop, I talked about you earlier today. I talked about you during, uh, during the businessy business meeting about how you were actually the first, the first donator to the Moon Cycle Fund. Okay, let's see. Uh, it's okay, Tech. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori's being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori? Sorry! I was spacing out. Uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I... I mean, Sari fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, Natsuki asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> well, oh god, this is mean. All right, all right, everybody. It's up to you. You have to you have to make this difficult decision. This universe is governed by poles. What do we tell Sayori? Either <clears throat> walk with Natsuki or walk with Sayori. Oh god. All right. Ha ha have fun. Have fun with this one. Why can't we all walk together? <laughs> Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? <laughs> Not voting. Crystal refuses to vote. So it looks like... Okay, so here's my argument. Here, here's what I would say in that situation. I'd be like, if Natsuki asked me to walk home with her, it wouldn't make any sense because the reason that we walk home together is because we're next door neighbors. Natsuki and I don't live close together, so it doesn't make any sense for us to walk home together. But she might have cupcakes for us. Oh! Cupcakes, you say? Hmm. Well, that changes everything. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Do we need to run a new poll? Ooh. Ooh, cartoon Wanderer. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on into the technically place. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How'd you find this place? Where'd you come from? Tell me all about your life story. <coughs> Thank you for making me feel like a bad girl. I appreciate you. All right, walk with Sayori. We're, we're sticking with Sayori. Sayori, you really think I would ditch you for Natsuki? Huh? But, but, she's so cute and fun to be around. Jeez, I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, Tak. Who needs Natsuki's cupcakes when you, when y'all can have mine? <clears throat> recommended page as soon as you did the cupcakes oh then that changes things I knew I had to follow ah thank you so much cartoon wonder I really appreciate that welcome on in I'm glad that your recommended steered you right <laughs> welcome I mean I personally would ditch you Sayori but okay <laughs> you're so silly tech 
You think about me too much sometimes. Natsuki would deserve it if she wanted it, so... Sari, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Hmm? Ooh, Cupcake Potato! Congratulations on heckin' level 5! You just unlocked your second gym badge. Be sure to go get you some gym badges from the panty shop, okay, Cupcake Potato? Very important. Very important. Don't forget. Oh, oh! We need to add a cupcake badge. Anyway, okay. The conversation trails off. It's kind of a weird thing for Sayori to care so much about, but I want to respect her and keep her happy, too. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. Alright, and here is where we are going to stop for the day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to move on to our clip tournament and our... Uh, and our garden, okay? And that's 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 how we're gonna wrap up stream. So, if you have never been part of a clip tournament before, <clears throat> what's up, creep blocks? Welcome on in. How are you doing? Um, if you have never been part of a clip tournament before, basically what we do is we go back through the uh, the clips from this weekend. And we react to them all live, and we vote on our favorite ones. And it's like a big, it's like a big tournament. You'll see. There's like a whole, there's a whole like Dragon Ball Z stage and everything. You'll see. It's cool. Um, so hold on. Let me let me save the game real quick. <clears throat> and then let's exit, quit. Okay, cool. And then let's get the tournament ready. Boop, boop, boop. Need this. Good. And then I need this, and this, and... Should I try that? I have an idea. I don't know. I have an idea. I'm, I'm gonna try an idea. Hold on. Do -do. I need music. There we go. Okay, so let's go here. Uh, well, actually, let's go here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, if that's the case, then I might as well do this. Yeah, that's better. Oh, God. There we go. Okay. And then go here. Go here. We need to change over to just chatting. There we go. Will we continue this another day? Oh man, it's tough, Rosie. I don't know, cause like, I don't, I don't know how many plays it's gonna take to like get through this game. And like, I know that there are definitely some people in the community that must be missing playing Jackbox. But I do really want to finish this game, cause we haven't even gotten, we haven't even gotten to like the juice, the juice of the story yet. So it's tough. It's tough. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Natsuki, best girl. Natsuki has been popular. Natsuki has been popular this, this time around. Let's see. Clips of my channel. Let's go all the way back to the beginning of yesterday. What if you streamed another day? So, QP, I, I totally would, but um, I, I'm very much looking forward to actually having a day off tomorrow um, because it's a, it's a three-day weekend for, for July 4th, and I'm very much looking forward to actually having that day off. So, I don't, I don't want to stream another day, but, uh, but, it, like, but I also kind of do, but I also know that it's important to like, give myself a rest. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I struggle. I struggle. What's up? Shroom Forest, welcome on in. How are you? All right, let's get this heckin' clip tournament started. Here we go. Pause the music. Ooh, hey. Ooh, thank you so much for the follow. You make me feel like such a bad girl. Welcome to the Tentacly Place. How'd you find this place? Where'd you come from? Tell me all about your life story, Shroom Forest. Welcome on in. Thank you so much. I'm also doing quite well. Quite well. Thanks for asking. Appreciate you. Anyway, all right, let's get started. Here we go. Here we go. 
You like that? Oh, this was a popular one yesterday. Okay, so remember, or for anyone who's new, if you like a clip, if you, if you think a clip is really funny or, you know, like you, you want a clip to be in the tournament, you type in like exclamation point LOL or like exclamation point love or like uh, just like spam a bunch of emojis. Like whatever. Wow, yeah. incredibly amazing. <laughs> Heckin' Lynx gifting a sub to my Kelly Shop. Woo! Thank you so heckin' much for the for the panty raid chocolate. I really appreciate it. Welcome on in. Keeping that panty raid trend going strong. Thank you so much. Look at that butt. <laughs> Hey, Lynx, thank you so much for gifting us up to Shroom Forest. Shroom Forest, welcome to the tentacle place where we lay on top of each other and touch each other with tentacles, but like, <gasps> lovingly though, but a little lewd, but lovingly, but lewd. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so heckin' much. Welcome on in. Be sure to enjoy spamming your tentacles all over Twitch for the next 30 days and hop up in the super secret place that nobody knows about by typing in exclamation point discord and chat because that's where all the subby perks happen. Get in there. We're super close to 400. I don't know how close, but we're really close to 400 members in the Discord. So heck and get in there. Exclamation point Discord. All right. I really appreciate you, Lynx. Thank you so much. All right. <clears throat> Alyssa, have a good lurk, okay? So yeah, so just remember, if you see like a clip that you like or whatever, just spam like, you know, emotes, hearts, whatever, whatever works. Just let me know you like it. New lurk command. Yes, I love it. That was written by Ava. So you have Ava to thank for that lovely, that lovely lurk command. Mm-hmm. Let's get this party started. Here we go. The haircut. Show it off, you sexy beast. Oh, you like this? Oh, you like this? You like this tapered look? Yeah, you like that? You like... You like that? Huh? Hmm? You want some more? You want some more? Mm. Mm, yeah. Oh. Oh, work it. Yeah, that's me. That's me, I got a haircut. I love getting haircuts so much. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. I love you. <laughs> Thanks, Letty, I appreciate it. Are we, are, we'll, we'll, we'll write this one down. We'll write this one down. Uh, over here, perfect, okay. So we've got, you like that, and then Tentacle Man Thick. Panty Raid, I really appreciate it. All aboard the Panty Raid train. Uh-oh. Incredibly uh -oh. juicy. Woo! I love it when y'all have to put my work. It makes me so happy. You can barely see yes, my twerking shit. through all of the emotes. I love it. Those hips. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I'm about to finish Doki Doki for the fifth time right now. Congratulations. Congratulations. The squat twerk. Sorry, I couldn't get it all. Ooh. I'm not right. good at the squat twerk. Time to, time to experiment. Time to have some fun. Wow. It's a hype train. Here we go. Here's, here's me experimenting. All right, there's, there's my little bounce. There's my little dip. And then, are we getting low? Oh, wait, there's right, more. Let's get low. Here we go, There's let's more. work these thighs. Wow. Work these thighs, do it. Get low. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Alright, alright. It's pretty, eh. It's alright. It's alright. What's this one? Tentacle Man is the thickest person ever. Woo! Pretty good. I'm for it. So I need difficult. you to teach me, damn well, Letty. Do Woo! I have wow. a video for you? Incredibly juicy. Exclamation point work bit chat. Woo! How many more do I have? One, two. Wow. Incredibly. All right. Continuing on. Thanks for all these like twerk clips. Makes me happy. Busy day. Lots of twerks. Wow, incredibly juicy. I love how much y'all are clipping my twerk. Thank you so much. Normally y'all don't clip my twerk this much. Woo. 
Wow. Oh. Incredibly oh, juicy. Way better when I don't have jeans. The jeans really restricts the bounce. Hey, Letty, congrats on level one. Welcome to the Tentacle Tech RPG. Be sure to check out the panty shop so you can see all the things you can do with your panties and your levels. Speaking of twerking without. You make without me feel. Ooh, hey! Ooh, creep blocks, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on into the Tentacle place. How'd you find this place? Where'd you come from? Tell me all about your life story. Welcome on in. Thank you so much. Streaming panties instead? What makes you think I'm not? All right, continuing on. Uh, oh, 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 I, lo I love that this gets clipped. I'm thinking of making some merch out of this phrase. I missed the rainbow undies. Oh my God, I'm looking respectfully. Please, please, uh, please uh, look disrespectfully. Okay, all right. Objectify me, please. <clears throat> all right. Let's see, what else we got, what else we got? Uh, for everyone. Yeah, I, 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 for, for anybody who's new here, I'm a total s New character, ooh ooh. I is Fukinawa. I'm named after the knife in Bob's Burgers. That's why, in Bob's Burgers, and my job in this stream is knife safety. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I, I make sure that all of you stay safe with your knives. He's so, so cute. let me give you my first tip. My first tip is never try to hack the pit out of an avocado. First of all, it doesn't feel good. And second of all, <laughs> so um, um, you'll probably end up cutting your pinky wide open. It's terrible. So just don't do it. <laughs> because if you do, I'll find you in murder. Oh, God. Oh, the ending is so scary. Oh, God. All right. All right. One minute, ladies and gentlemen, for the first round of the clip tournament. Vote up at the top of chat. Go. Wait, we need our metal music. We need our metal music. Hold on. Uh, 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 where's metal? There we go. There we go. They had to censor the ending. That's right, yeah. <laughs> New character, Uwu, winning by a landslide at the moment. I think I don't think I don't think there's really any competition here. I think new character Uwu has it in the bag. Cause if you do, I'll find you in mer. All right, downloading it now. Uh, this. There we go. I'm gonna be adding Fukinawa to the panty shop soon so that y'all will be able to like summon Fukinawa just like you can with like Tentacarl and uh, and Pubert. Um, so yeah. Uh, new character. There we go. Okay, cool. Dang it, I missed the clip thing. No, 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 no. We're still going. We're still going. This is just this is just the first round. No worries. Okay, so uh, back here. And let's continue on. We are going on to odd voice, but okay. What's happening? What is this clip? Welcome back, everybody. Hello. Unicorn, Rhinic, Rosie. Welcome back. Trash, Ava, Drevna. Welcome back, everybody. Hello. Okay. I, do, I do do a different voice so. when, I, when I do my welcome back. That is interesting. I'd never really thought about that, but that's true. All right, let's see. Sad. What's sad? Oh, oh, I know. I know. Okay, I got it. Okay. Dear Joshka, I love you so much because you have such great posture. Yeah, Joshka, posture. posture. We'll play it. <clears throat> we'll play it. The way that you play Minecraft gets me all hot and bothered. 
And one day, I hope... Alright, cool. Next. Tech is a master at Trivia Murder Party 2. Math, also tech. Oh. Second. Alexa, what is two minutes and seconds? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Thank you. Shut up. I know what I know what it is. I know what it is. Shut up. Leave me alone. Oh, you whatever. Shut up. You suck. Whoever made this who made this clip? Who was it? You're lucky I can't tell or I'd ban you. You're lucky. <laughs> Alright, what's this one? For someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> Wait. Which part? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it Creep in my Creep take room. the spam down just a little bit, my friend. I don't even know what my dad would do if he... Can I ban myself? No, we don't have one of those... I know a lot of streamers have those, like, honorable seppuku, like, commands where you can, like, spend a bunch of panties or, like, a bunch of currency in the stream in order to ban yourself. I, I, I don't have one of those. I'll tell, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, QP. If we reach 200 subs, then, then you, can, you can ban yourself. There. There. I'll just... I'll... What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Tenacarl here, your local head of sellout. We are only a bajillion away. We're only 34 away from 200 subs. So if you want to ban QP, be sure to be sure to gift those 34 subs. Oh yeah. This has been a message from Tenacarl, your local head of sellout. What's up Guardian of Light? Welcome on in. It's good to see you. All right. <clears throat> oh, this is Biddy Battle. This is Biddy Battle. Wait, hold on. Did I already play it? No. <laughs> This was a wild bitty battle. Nitsuki. Oh god, no, not again! Not a bitty war! Oh no! Do you want a big Bitty battle no does Monica. have a better sound to it than than bitty war, doesn't it? Nitsuki. Oh God! Oh God! Is it over? Fight! 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 Does who you read the poem to first affect the storyline? Absolutely, Rosie. Absolutely. At least I think it does. I'm doubting myself now, but I, I think that it does. All right, Monica Pose. Here we go. Monica Pose. Monica Pose! I wonder if this was our first Monica Pose. All right. Crazy one, congrats on level three. All right, what else we got? Ugh. Uh, all right, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> Continuing on. Hey, happy so Murica go. Day, USSR. What is this? Uh, all right, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> Continuing on. Sure, let's go. What? What was happening? I'm confused. Anyway, what's this? Tech. Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. I, 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 I ache. I ache to have a friend like Sayori. That like I like walk home every day with and like, like just like wants to make me happy and like encourages me to like go out and do things. Like, oh my. Uh, all right, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> That's what I was doing. That's what I was doing. Okay, that makes sense. Now, now, now I have the context, and I am very lonely, that's true. I mean, in real life. Not online. Online, I'm not lonely at all, but in real life, I'm pretty lonely. All right, wholesome. Here we go. Amazing meme. Top definition. Comfort streamer. A streamer that you specifically love watching and feel safe or comfortable with. There Cupcake potato. Are we about to be best friends? Huh? We about to be best friends, Cupcake Potato? Alright. <clears throat> Continuing on. <clears throat> anyway. They will always put a smile on your face when they're streaming. <laughs> Thank you, Alyssa. This is so heckin' sweet. I don't know if you... <clears throat> 
Yesterday I got very Sayori vibes from you, Tech, and I greatly appreciate it. Aw, Rosie, that's really sweet of you to say. Did you reach the point in the game? Ugh, Guardian, no. And don't 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 give spoilers for other people, please. Say uwu in a girl voice? Pay for it. Alright, continuing on, let's see. This is so this is such a cute this is such an amazing a cute clip. meme. Top definition. Comfort streamer, a streamer that you specifically love watching and feel safe or comfortable with. They will always put a smile on your face when they're streaming. That's so heckin' sweet. Thank you, Arisa. This is so heckin' sweet. I don't know if you... Okay, let's see. Drevno, you bad boy. What did Welcome Drevno do? Welcome to the gang, kid. We've got Steel and Steve, Murder and Mike, and Drevno12. What... What did Drevno12 do? He changed his name without filing in the Google Doc. Oh, <gasps> Drevno! Dre you didn't fill out form 34C? <gasps> Exclamation point bad boy. How dare you, Drevno? How dare you? For shame. For shame, Drevno. Always fill out form 34C, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, QP gets it. You make me feel Ooh, yeah, right. like a bad girl. Peaceful Chip. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome on into the Tentacly place. How'd you find this place? Where'd you come from? Tell me all about your life story. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I didn't say that. <laughs> Alright, what else we got? Uh, oh, sad part two. Is this more poem? Uh, this is more poem. I'm God. Peaceful Chip, you are God? Oh. Oh. What rhymes with pets? Gosh dang it. What is Form 34C? Uh, Exclamation point Form 34C. Alright, I know. I want, I'll do a loose rhyme. I want to give you all the pet. Oh, that's a good one. That's actually a really good song. I want to give you all the pets. And I'll even go into... Oh, you didn't even get the rhyme! Feels bad, man. Wait, sad part three. Even go into massive debts. Nice. Because you're worth it, my little sexy, t my sexy little twins. And together, our hearts will always be pinned. Beautiful. Tech six twelve. Tech. <laughs> wow. That was really beautiful. It was. Let's add it to our quote system. Please do. Add quote. Boom. There you go. Quote number 146. Congratulations. Okay, but what's this one? Mmm. Mmm. Nothing tastes better than a little dead man. I mean... Oh, I'm all out of water. I was going to say it's true and take a sip of my water, but I'm, I'm all out. My, my slut cup runneth, runneth empty. Feels bad. Alright, what else we got? Uh, busy day. Deadman, thank you for gifting a sub. Appreciate it. Woo! Y'all are working me. Happy Woo. Superversary, Crystal. Woo! Thank you for the bits, QP. Woo! You make Great. me feel, feel like a bad girl. Not Allison. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. What's up, place. Rust Art? How'd Welcome on in. Place? Where'd you come from? Tell me all about your life story. Attention, anyone on the so stream? Can I get a seven? My oh, goodness. Yee. My goodness. I don't know what that means. What a there you go. what a sudden a sudden round of hype. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay. Hey, on, creep blocks. On. Let me see. Oh. Hold on. Creep Blocks, congrats on level one. Welcome to the Tentacle Tech RPG. Be sure to check out the panty shops. So you can see all the things you can do with your panties and your levels. Oh, is it ho like like hoya? Like like hello. Like, hoya! ya Hi! Welcome in. <laughs> Alright, busy day. Moving on. What else we got? Feed Me Seymour? Oh, here we go. Y'all are gonna simp for Feed Me Seymour. I know it. Feed Me Seymour. This, I just gotta sing to y'all. Y'all love it. Feed me all night long. That's right, boy! You can do it! Feed Me Seymour! Feed me all night long. 
Cause if you feed me Seymour, I can grow up big and strong. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's our clip tournament. I think we just had I think we just had one clip winner this this uh this week. Let me see. What was it? It was Oh, it was our new character. That's our that's our like one clip winner for the week. Well played. Well played, man. Man, he was he was popular. Uh what's his name? Uh What's his name? Kirisawa? Something like that? Is that right? I don't think that's right. Oh man. Having a hard time with it now. Gosh dang it. I'll remember his name eventually. Fukunawa. That's his name. Fukunawa. I got it. I got it eventually. All right, y'all. It's time to transition over to our garden. If you don't know what I'm talking about, type in exclamation point garden and check out that uh, that little Google Doc. You can see that there's this big old long list of things that you can do that help the community out. Like, uh, you know, joining our Reddit, uh, following on Twitter, joining the Discord, uh, tipping, subbing bits uh, all sorts of things so if you if you would like to punch in anything that you've done during the stream that is on that list uh you can you can punch it in on on like today's date and then we add it to our garden and our garden it uses a game called farm together where we have built out an entire huge huge garden made just of like community events <clears throat> it says i got gifted but i don't have level one I don't see creep blocks where you've been gifted. I I, I don't I don't see what you are seeing. Uh oh. I might have broken the game. I was trying to move the window while it was loading, and that's never a good idea. Never move the window while it's loading. Okay, it's okay. It worked out. This time. This time. Ah, look, little Liz Moop is on farm together. Okay, let's see. Let's bring up the garden document and scroll all the way down to today's date, which is 7-4. Resub and host, can I have roses, please? Sure, I'll punch you in here. Crystal, resub, and host, and you want some roses. All right, I gotcha. I gotcha. All right, so let's get roses. It looks like it's going to be a quick garden today. Um, so let's go to roses. Seven various flowers, please. Your choice, but different types. Ooh, okay. Let's see, let's do some flowers along here. This looks like a good place for some flowers. Let's go to our gaming screen. There we go. You all can see, right? Yes, good, okay. <clears throat> all right, so we need some flowers. Uh, okay, we're just gonna go straight along. So we'll do one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven flowers for Rosie. All right, and then we need a resub and a host. Two roses for Crystal. Let me see here. Two roses. Let's put the roses here. Where are those pretty roses? There we go. Uno. Dos. Perfect. Hey, what's up, adventurist? Good to see ya. That looks fun already. It is. It's it's a really like sort of like chillax game. It's a really nice just like you can you can just sort of get to like sit back and have fun. So everything that you see here, all of this, including all the silos, all the plants, all the animals, everything is from like just people doing things in the community. It's really, really cool. Um, thank you for that kind shout out. What are you talking about? I give you a shout out? I don't remember giving you a shout out. 
All right, so let's see who we got. QP gifted many subs and many biddies. That's big true. QP, is there anything particular that you would like, or do you want me to just choose? Would you like? Uh, would you like? Uh, would you like some more gnomes for your gnome army? It is growing in number. Just now? Oh, just saying your name? Oh, I don't consider that a shout out. I just, you know, I just like talking with you, dude. <clears throat> Ooh, gnomes. Okay, alright. QP wants gnomes. We're adding to the gnome army. So, for QP, we're gonna do... Two gnomes. QP, if you ever want to get more specific, feel free and I'll, 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 I'll give you more gnomes. Alright, and then Guardian subbed on YouTube. Thank you, Guardian. I appreciate that. And you... Ooh, do you think bratty behavior is cute? Maybe. <laughs> Uh, all right, and you want statues. I don't know what you mean by statues. Do you want some gnomes? Do you want to help extend our gnome army, Guardian of the Light? That makes you a good host anyway, because you're paying attention. Some people do not do that. Yeah, I mean, it gets harder. It gets harder when you, when, like, the, the larger that you get, because, like, chat moves so fast, you just can't respond to everything that everyone says. But, um, but, you know. I, I I try to do my best to to keep up with everyone. All right, so that is our that is our garden for the day. The one the one last thing that we do at the end of every stream is we take a little train ride. Uh, we go over here. So this is the money making section of the farm. This is like what supports the garden, so that I can you know I can like forever you know build out the garden and and not have to harvest anything. And y'all can see all your cool things. Um, so, uh, we, so we have farm hands that work on the farm and it's just like members of the community that like come in and work on the farm and you can actually be a farm hand too. If you like, if you want to get the game, you can type in exclamation point farm together and you can get the game yourself and then you can come play on the farm and I keep it up like 24 seven. So like anytime you want, you can come and play on the farm. It's really cool. Um, and then, uh, and then we built a little, I shouldn't say we, uh, a, a, a few of the farmhands built a little train track so that uh, we could take a little tour around the farm whenever we, want, we wanted to. So this is all work that the farmhands have done. And it's a big, huge, amazing, expansive garden uh, or farm um, that uh, we, we, like to, we like to try to catch all the gnomes. I think we're going backwards. One, I think we're going backwards from how we normally go. Two, I see two gnomes so far. There are a bunch of hidden gnomes around the track. We try to catch all 20. There are 20 gnomes possible to see, and we try to catch all 20. <clears throat> Is that a gnome? I don't want to double count. I don't want to double count, so I'm not going to count that one yet. Because I think that we're going to see that one later, so don't count that one. Still just two for now. <clears throat> three. There's three. I see three. Isn't this amazing? I, I, like, I expected the, ooh, there's four. I expected the garden to be the really amazing part about this project, but it turns out that the money-making section is actually the really amazing part. Like, all of the work that, all of the work that the farmhands have put in to make this place so beautiful is just incredible to me. <clears throat> Oh, I see one. There it is. Five. Katya. Oh, there's another one. Six. Okay, we gotta make sure not to double count that one. Six. Oh, there's seven. I saw it in the trees. I see seven. Look at that beautiful path over there. I think that's new. I haven't seen that before. That's really pretty. These gnomes don't count, by the way. Th this is a special section of the, the money-making section that Rosie is building out. It looks like she's made some updates, too. Look at that huge aquarium over there. Oh, we're headed straight toward eight. 
Those are QP appreciation gnomes. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so we, we're at eight gnomes. I remember that there's a ninth one. Yep, a ninth one right by that hen house. When you come the other way, that one is like hidden behind the hen house. Super tricky. Super tricky. Oh, there's nine. Unless we already counted that one. I think we might have already counted that one. Let's stick with eight, because I think we already counted that one. And same thing with that one. <laughs> Back to eight. Thank you, Crystal. Appreciate you. Isn't it incredible, like, how huge this place is? Oh my goodness. Cannot believe it. Absolutely wild. Alright, this part gets really tricky. The flower section is absolutely huge. And there's just so many... There's so many places to look. I feel like I'm gonna miss stuff. Does it go through... Oh yeah, it goes through a third time. Dang, it goes through the flower section three different times. It loops through three different times in order to catch all of it. That's how huge the flower section is. Oh, there's nine. I see nine. Hopefully I didn't miss any. I know that there's a bunch hidden throughout uh, hidden throughout the tree section. Because there's all these openings like this. Like da da down these paths. Ten. I know there's more. I know there's more. Don't try to trick me. Eleven. Alright, so we've got eleven. Ooh, Guardian, congrats on level five. You just unlocked your second gym badge once you unlock the, the panties vault. Super nice stream. Might be back later. Hope you have a great fourth. Hey, you too. You too. Thank you so much. I appreciate the, the compliment on my stream. Oh, there's 12. I found 12. Wow. wow. Incredibly amazing. Thank you so much, QP. I appreciate it. Welcome into the Tentacly Place Adventurers. Welcome to the Tentacly Place where we lay on top of each other and touch each other with tentacles, but like lovingly though, but a little lewd, but lovingly, but lewd. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please enjoy spamming your tentacles all, all over Twitch for the next 30 days and be sure, there's four, 13 something, I don't know what we're on. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, be sure to spam your tentacles all over Twitch for the next 30 days and be sure to hop up into the Discord so you can see, oh, that's 14 maybe, I'm not sure. Um, be sure to hop up in the Discord because that's where all the subby perks happen. Exclamation point Discord and chat. Somebody do it for me. I think 14. Okay, 14. 14. Hi, Nitro Pixels. It's good to see you. Welcome in. QP, thank you so much for that gifted. Oh, 15! 15! Uh, thank you so much for that gifted sub. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> thank you, QP. 
Thank you for the gifted sub, dude. You are incredibly generous. I am humbled. Oh, is that 16 I see? Is that 16? I don't think we're gonna get them all. Especially, especially with QP sabotaging. Sabotaging with twerks! No, no, we're at the end. Dang it, man. We, I feel like normally we get really close. Today we missed a bunch. Shucks. Shucks. Alright. Alright, well. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. No, no, QP. I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. You know, you know, I appreciate you gifting, you gifting subs. Thank you so much, dude. Um, all right. Hey, if y'all wouldn't mind sticking around for just a second while we, while we find somebody to go raid. Thank you all so much for all of the love and support this weekend. And I hope that y'all had a good time and that y'all got lots of value out of this place. I think that the biggest thing that I would say, the biggest thing that I sort of want to like advertise to y'all at the end of the stream is just to hop into the discord it really is sort of the home of the community uh and it's really important so hop up in there ha have 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 some fun and now now that i know some are a little more difficult due to overlapping uh gnomes may be moved around a bit oh yeah that'd be fun that'd be fun if the if the if the gnomes moved that'd be cool i like that i like that idea okay so let's see Let's see, who are we gonna go raid? Okay, so... Nerdy is playing Doki Doki Literature Club and she's farming all the endings. Would y'all like to w go watch Nerdy farm all the endings for Doki Doki Liter Literature Club? Or would you like to go watch Pyro? Because I know y'all love Pyro. Or would you like to find somebody new? I think, I think, I think we have to have a poll time. I think we have to have a poll time. There's too many good options. Hold on. Let's see here. Manage poll. New poll. Who to raid? Who to raid? Do you want nerdy? Uh, nerdy Doki Doki farm. Doki Doki endings. Doki Doki endings. There we go. Do you want pyro? Because uh, she's playing Planet Zoo. Playing Planet Zoo. Or do you want somebody new? Somebody new. And vote. Vote it up, ladies and gentlemen. Choose your favorite streamer. Looks like Pyro might just sort of like win by default here. Well played. Well played, Pyro. GG. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's a tie now. Oh, we got two votes for somebody new. Watch out, coming in hot. This poll has been all over. Oh, three votes for somebody new. Been all over the place today. Should we raid like a Jackbox streamer like we normally do? Or should we raid a Doki Doki Plus streamer? Who do we want to raid? It's looking like somebody new has it, unless somebody really tips the scales suddenly. You want you want to rate a Jackbox streamer? We can do that. We can do that. Let's see here. Jackbox party packs. All right. I know y'all have been starved for Jackbox this weekend, so let's see if we can find somebody who will give you a good time. Who's somebody who plays Jackbox who I don't know that looks cool? Baby, that's so kind. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm boiling in this onesie. That is no. Uh, let's try something else. Let's see. Do I want... I see this person on my recommended a lot, I think. Gosh dang it, every stream I go into, I get hit with an ad. Uh, this is why you run ads on your channel, ladies and gentlemen, so that you don't, people don't get hit with ads as soon as they come into your channel. <gasps> yes! This is per, I still got hit with an ad, but this is perfect. They're like a super adorable VTuber. I'm so, I'm so for it. Wait, wait, hold on. I have to make sure that they speak English. 
Hold on. Sky toss, if you want to get in there. Type, type, type. I'm so Can down for it. They even have jiggle physics on their VTuber. I'm so about this. I'm so all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. What what's our what 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 are we gonna say? What's our raid message gonna be? I'm back after calls and you're leaving. Oh, things. I mean, I, it, um, if some uh, if somebody becomes a patron, we we'll, we extend stream. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're about to go raid a super cute VTuber though, so that's fun. What should we say? What should our raid message be? What's a good, what's a good VTuber word? Throws wallet. No, links, please. Uh, what's, what's a good, what's a good VTuber word? Good VTuber words. I, we can't raid with simp because, because that would, nugget. Oh, that's good. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do nugget. Can we do nuggies? Is that okay? Can we do nuggies? Can we do like, can we do like some sort of heart emote and then nuggies like this? Nuggies! Is that okay? How's that? Did you like that? Have a good four. See you next weekend, most likely. So, Lynx, I won't be here next weekend. Uh, 10th and 11th, thank you for reminding me to tell everyone. 10th and 11th, I'm going to a wedding. So, I will not be here next weekend, but I will be here the weekend after that. And there is some exciting things coming up uh, coming up that weekend. Let me, let me double check my calendar here. Yeah. So we are actually having a guest star on the 17th and I'll, I'll, I, I wasn't going to tell anyone yet, but, but as a special sneak peek, uh, for, for those of you who, who have stuck around and who are here on, but what will we do when you're gone? Watch YouTube videos, right? I'll still post YouTube videos, right? Just, I, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, so, uh, wait for you to get back. So, um, on the 17th, I will be having Snake on my stream as a guest star. Snake is what is, is, is the person who I originally started streaming with. The person that I built Snake Tech 88 with. So if y'all, if y'all would like to see sort of like the, like epic origins of w like what made me into a streamer, Snake is going to be, Snake is going to be guest starring on the 17th. Um, so it, it, it should, it should be a really, a really good time. We're still figuring out exactly what game we're going to play. It probably won't be Jackbox. God, that means that like for three streams in a row, we're not going to play Jackbox. God, am I just not going to play any Jackbox this stream? What is going on? What is going on? But anyway, yeah. So the 17th snake is going to be guest starring on stream and it'll be really exciting. So I hope y'all are looking forward to that. It's going to be fun. Guess you have to do hots. Guess you just have to do hot. You don't have any choice in the matter. So, uh, so yeah. So nuggies. We're gonna spam. We're gonna raid. We're gonna raid this VTuber and say nuggies in their chat. Nuggies full of love. Everybody loves nuggies, bro. You can't. You can't not like nuggies. Come on. All right. Raid. Pachui. Pachun. Pachunia. Huh? Yeah! All right. All right. Let's get let let let's get a jam. Let's get a jam to go out to. No, not metal music. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I like this song. This is a good song. Mm. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for an amazing weekend. I hope you had an amazing good weekend as well. I will see you all on the 17th. You will see pictures of the wedding and stuff if I take them. You'll see videos on YouTube. You can join the Discord to be part of the community so we can be together always. Keep your tentacles lewd. Keep them naughty. But most of all, keep them loving. Good night, everybody. I love you. I'll see you next time. Goodbye!